video. All right. Okay. Thank you. So welcome. So today we are going to answer all the questions that you have. We're going to give you an overview of what we do here at the uh, Tech IT Academy and possibly um, be able to convince you that it's not a wrong decision to come to the Tech community. We are a community of people who are dedicated and are willing to help you succeed. So just so that we have five minutes, I'm going to be meeting everybody. Uh, you have your opportunity to see right now. All right. So, so everyone is not muted. You have the option to uh, ask questions at the end when we're done with the presentation. We'll give you room to ask all the questions that you have. Uh, you also have the option to use the chat here to ask your question. Uh, we have a, our team will be working to make sure that uh, we answer all your questions. Uh, this link also is available. We're streaming live on Facebook. So just in case you don't have a family member that cannot make it uh, via Zoom, they can also follow us on YouTube. Um, uh, Bella, please you could, uh, put the YouTube channel here so that people can follow to their family member. All right. So with that said, guys, let's get started. We hope to get this done in the next one hour, 30 minutes. So we, we're not going to keep you here for a long time. So we hope to make sure that we're done. So if you get a chance to talk, guys, be mindful of time. Don't take it too long so that we don't keep our trainees here waiting for so long. All right. So before we get started, my name is Dr. Dennis Kiawi. I'm actually the CEO of Kiawi Tech IIT Academy Community. We are a community of people. This is not just, you're not just joining a school, you're joining a community. Uh, Kiawi Tech Community is almost hitting 500 uh, professionals right now. So um, we are, our goal is just on making sure that um, everyone that comes to our community really succeed. And uh, we're putting everything in place to make sure that you arrive for that your final destination. Uh, let me just go ahead and share my screen and give you a rundown of who we are and what we do. And uh, like we said, you can ask your question at the end or you can use the chat to ask a question. Uh, let me know if you guys can see my screen. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yes. All right. Perfect. All right. perfect. Perfect. Yes. All right. Yes, yes. So this is who we are. Here we take IT uh, community. Um, this is our education class. Uh, we are a dream. Here we take is a place where dreams really become a reality. That's what we all do. Right. We try to make sure that we get you to that final goal, so you finish strong. Um, so, uh, a little bit about us here we take. Um, like I said, my name is Dennis Yawi, founded this school, spread out of school 2016. The headquarters is actually here in Houston, Texas. We have a branch in Africa, uh, precisely Cameroon, uh, Germany, and Canada. So, we are operating in these major offices, but we offer our training all over the world. So it's not limited where you are. You can take our training anywhere around the world. Now, what is really our mission, right? Why are we really doing this? Why right? the mission is to empower people. This is something we say every single time that we meet on our weekly webinar. Empowerment, right? Empowerment, and we, we empower people through education because we believe that the best way to empower each other is actually to educate that person. And we found out that IT happens to be a very lucrative field where we can empower people by providing them the training that they need. So we make sure that everyone gets unlimited access to all the tools that are necessary. And also we want to demystify IT. A lot of people see this, they feel IT is really for the super gurus, the most intelligent people in the community, but we want to demystify that because that's not true, right? So everyone can do this if you have the mind to do it. So that's what, our mission statement really all about. And when you are coming into Kiawe Tech community, you went through the application process, you will understand that we have core values that we expect each and every one of us to respect. One, in excellence, right? Uh, we try our best to give you the best education that you can get anywhere when you get to any training school, right? 
So we want to make sure that we set the bar really high and uh, we stay professional in everything we do because it's embodied in our DNA. We want to make sure that everyone that goes through this training don't only get the technical skills, but also get the soft skills that are required in it to go through life. And of course, integrity. And I stress this so much. If you've been following us on a Tuesday webinars or on Facebook, you see that we are always talking about integrity. All right? What does that mean? We are honest. What we say and we do the same thing. All right? And we will do the right thing even if you are not looking at us. So we make sure that we do the right thing. And of course, we want to empower you. All right? Those are our core values. I would expect each and every one of you that's joining us today to respect these core values, to see that this is where we stand and this is the kind of community we are joining. And of course, we have a vision in order to come up with this. And our vision is to change the mindset of the minority community. A lot of what we're doing here today is not new. This started years back and other people took the advantage and they educated their community by providing them this affordable platform where people can learn skills that are maybe within, would not within their reach because of finance, right? So we want to make sure that we bring this IT training, we empower you, but we also make it affordable for you and make sure that everyone that goes through us reach their full God-given potential. That's all what we want to do, right? So we are committed to your success and we want to leave a positive impact in your life and the life of the family or generations to come, all right? As like we said, it is a place where dreams become a reality. What do we really offer, all right? We offer a series of classes. Um, uh, this year, we've, in, we've, in, uh, we've added our Oracle training uh, as part of our courses that we offer in, uh, in collaboration. I see someone trying to share the screen. Uh, you may want to stop sharing, please stop. <laughs> All right, let me get that. Let me stop that. Um, I know you are you are you are a little bit curious to find out how to get, how this Zoom works, but you get a chance during class to uh, learn how to share your screen. So please don't share your screen for now. All right. I'm sorry about that. Okay. All right. That's fine. All right. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Perfect. So um, we don't only train you in these different classes. We want to keep you updated with the trend in technology. That's why we offer a weekly webinar. Every single Tuesday, just as you, you might have noticed, for those that are joining the Tuesday webinar, we have a webinar. And during this webinar, we have uh, special guests are coming in, invited guests. We have, uh, we talk about things that, we, that are happening in technology. We have uh, trainees that have gone through this program and they're working and they have problems and we sit down and brainstorm this to make sure. So our goal is make sure that when you get a job, not only do you have to keep the job, we are there committed to make sure that everything goes well, all right? So that's one of the reasons why we have this Tuesday webinar. And of course, our training does not only involve the six months training, that's why we ask for eight months. When you come here, bring eight months because we need to train you and we need to develop that interview skill. And this is the interview bootcamp that we actually and this is the most important part of our training, the interview bootcamp, because it's during this interview bootcamp that you really understand how to address interview questions. And I can tell you that so many of you that are joining this webinar today have never actually sat in a real professional interview where you sit and talk to someone eyeball to eyeball. So it becomes really, really challenging if you just train someone and let the person go without developing those soft skills. So our goal is not only to train you, we want to make sure you leave this place fully ready to hit the job market. And we have mentorship, right? Mentorship, kudos to our mentors. These are all community effort from everyone. And this is something that we expect from all of you, right? You will be placed on a mentor one day and someone will help you get somewhere. So we also expect you to come back and also help someone get, get, get to the finish line. I, so it's a whole voluntary effort from the entire community where everyone is struggling to help someone. And I like it, you know, since we started this, 
it's been a tremendous success in this community and i'm so happy and i'm so thankful to the community members to help us really get to this final goal and we also offer on one-on-one -on -one support um starting this batch your batch is going to be batch 11 for the sql server class batch five five for the azure training batch uh three for the uh, uh, aws batch one for oracle all right now on all these different batches that you go through them we have on call support people that are actually there making sure that what problems that you're facing during the training someone is there during the week to address your problem so you always have someone there to help you right so there shouldn't be a time where you are laid back because we have the resources there for you as you see our our team is big and it's big because we know we want to make sure we reduce the training uh, instructor ratio, right? We bring it down as low as possible to make sure that you everybody gets the full uh, uh, um, full support that they need. And of course, uh, in partnership with the Kiawe Foundation, we do offer scholarship also. for people that have financial problems. We can we also do offer scholarship. So these are the the things that we offer here. At Kiawe Tech IT Community. And this is how our classes are a rundown of this. You will get more online. All right, so uh, be mindful that the noise is not in your background. All right, I'm muting everybody again. All right, everyone is muted. Unmute yourself if you need to talk. All right. So now, this is, I was just talking about this. This is our, the rundown of the courses and the duration and the certification that we have for these different programs. Uh, some of the certifications have expired, so we are looking forward to seeing Microsoft release more certifications that we will guide you throughout. Uh, but first, we have our job, our Microsoft SQL Server Database Administration Program, which runs uh, from uh, six to uh, eight months and Every one of us that are instructed here are senior database administrators. Uh, this course composed of five different models. And uh, on these different models, we have the final model, which is actually the capstone project that you have to work on it for two months, which takes care of all the projects that we've been working on for the last six months. Six months. So it's very, very important. And we have all the materials that you need to go through the certification if you want to take one. And be successful. And then we also have uh, Microsoft Cloud Computing, the Azure training, which is a four to five months program, uh, has the same structure and also has the different exams that you can take at the end. Of course, we have the, our AWS and our Oracle that we also have. And we every single program at here we take is structured the same way. Um, weekly webinars. Why is it important? It is designed to help you in the field. Make sure that when you get a job, you are able to keep the job. It's free for everyone. It's not only limited for people that are in care with it. For anyone in the IT field, can feel free to join the webinar. I, uh, we have top presentation for high level professional in the field, as well as we provide network, interview training, brainstorming session for everyone. So th this is something that you should definitely be attending once you join the community and of course our mentorship program what is it all about i we believe in empowerment we believe that everyone can do it if you give that person the opportunity every single one of you can do it but a mentor goal is to really make sure that you are doing the right thing i right? that you are not having any roadblocks i right? So initiatives is actually a better way for anyone in this community to give back. And it's all volunteering services. So we really, really appreciate this, this effort. All right? So this mentor will be your direct contact once you start applying for jobs. And <clears throat> this is also someone that you will develop a relationship with so that an individual can also help you when it comes to reference. So everyone that comes through this platform will end up having a mentor. For those who want to, we have people here who are just doing this for um, a knowledge uh, addition, not because they want to get a job. So we leave this program 
voluntary program for people to apply. If you need a mentor, we will assign you one. And of course, we have our excellent Open My Offer Letter Bootcamp, which runs for 60 days. It is very intensive. We will drill you in a minute. I, we will simulate all kinds of scenarios that you might face out there. And we will make sure that that fear is gone when you are leaving that bootcamp. Our success rate shows that by the time people are done with this, they are so ready for the job market, and most of them, uh, before they leave this bootcamp, are already having a job. And this is the best way to land that six figure that we're talking about. Because at the end of the day, if you have all the certifications that you have, have all the knowledge, and you cannot talk about it, nobody will hire you. Nobody. So we focus on making sure that you can you master the skills and you can also explain it, right? Because here we want to cut out that aspect of people just going through the training and then they're dumped on their own and they have to figure out. Here, the difference here with us is that um, we don't only train you what you need to know as a database administrator. We train you to be computer literate. So there are a lot of topics that we're going to handle during this training that you that is actually not uh, your job responsibility when you finish your training. But because we know that this is important for you to go through this, we still do it. And of course, the one-on-one -on -one support um, from a lot of senior level professionals in the team, as well as myself, we are there to actually help you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And of course, I've already talked about the scholarship uh, that we give. That's our own way to give back to the community. And this is really good thing that we have done, especially for people from the developing country like in Africa or anywhere that we classify as needing community. You know, we cut our scope, our tuition by 67% discount for you to be able to go through this. And not only have we cut it down, we even make the payment method extremely affordable for anyone. So I always say this, finance can never be a problem while you are not taking the training. I, so if you want to empower yourself, finance should never be a problem because we will always figure out a way for you to do to make sure you get the training. So most of you here might be asking, what is the role of a database administrator? That's the first program that we actually offer. All right? And one thing that you're going to realize with us, we are data focused. So all our trainings are really into database training as well as architectural design. So even from database administration into our cloud computing, you're going to realize that this is the focus in which we are. So we always want to make sure that we orientate you because this IT field can be so confusing. You've heard of all kinds of programs and you begin to ask yourself, which one should I choose, right? Now, the thing is, if you want to study anything cloud related, you need to understand who is that instructor offering that program? What is that instructor's background? Because if I'm a developer, my way that I'm going to orientate you will be towards that direction, all right? But if I'm a database expert, I'm going to orientate you in that direction. And that's what we do here. We're a database expert. And why is it important? Because everything in the ITP starts with the data, all right? The database is the foundation of everything that you know in the ITP. Because without the database, there's, you, can, you can do anything. You can run your report, you can know take the uh, most important decision. So everything starts off with the data. And not only is this part of the data, we train you to architect, architectural design of it. So you understand what it means, what are systems that are required, how do they co connect, connect with each other. So all those things is the foundation of what IT is all about. So if you get this, and you know this, and you start making your, getting a job, we always encourage people to spread their wings and figure out what is it in the IT field that I can learn again? And remember, this is a fast-paced industry. So you've got to also improve your skills that same manner. Think about the phone, right? 10 years ago, very few people can bo could boast of a really good smartphone. 10 years ago. But look at it today, right? So as technology changes, if you don't also change your mindset to follow the lead, you're going to be uh, phased out immediately, right? So... We think that starting with database, understanding how data function is the right way for us to move on. And who are those that we are actually targeting? Right? I've said 
We are targeting database administrators. We're targeting cloud professionals. We're targeting developers, uh, analysts, and people who just want to change a job. Like, you just want to change a career, this is the right place for you. Because our goal here is not just to train people that are already advanced. We want to have people that are willing to learn, bring that motivation, and then we will show you the right way. And of course, uh, average salaries for database administrators here in the US, this is it. When you leave the training, we expect you to earn somewhere between 80 and 110. This is a starting salary. And you can do your own research about this people. All right. Now, once you've worked for a couple of years, you are getting to senior DBAs, which salary also increase. And we expect you to grow as, along the same line as you improve your skill set. And I've, I've picked up here a couple of uh, sites for you to really uh, back this salary that we're talking about here. This one here is by ZipRecruiter Zip 2021. The, uh, and you can see here, uh, it places Azure Architect Solutions uh, salary at about $152,000. That's roughly $73 an hour. Now you also have here uh, for uh, another site, Glassdoor, also places that about $154,000 starting salary. You have um, average salary for Microsoft with Microsoft skills, having the Microsoft skill put on it. And so on. Database administrator here uh, for Glassdoor again at $93,000. And this is a story done uh, by Brent Olga, one of the top guys here in this field, that actually um, interview people. He does this every year. I'm still to put the 2021 study here. And you see these are the number of people that actually participated in the survey. And he sums up all their average salary and put it up here in the chart. So you can see for the last uh, four years, the salary for database administrator, average salary has gradually been increasing. And right now, averagely, it stands at $109,000. Another slide here for US News. Uh, I put this slide here for you to sit back and think about it. Um, for instance, if you want to study any of these fields here, uh, software developer, uh, computer programmer, computer system analyst, and all this, this is most of the time a five years or four year training in school, right? And we all know how school fee here is, how expensive it is to study here in the US. Now, if you compare that with the amount that you pay for this training here, and you look at the salary for a database administrator or even the cloud, uh, Azure Cloud and AWS that I've been showing you previously, you see that it compares quite well with these four years programs at the university. So now, if you've been paying attention, you will see that a lot of top school are gradually shifting towards this uh, bootcamp, six months, one year, eight months. If you look critically online, you see that a lot of them are advertising this direction. Why? Why, is, why are they coming this way? Because they realize that's the trend. That's the trend. So what we're doing here is we are very competitive because when you take a program like this, we offer this to you at a very affordable price, but we have all these resources to make sure you succeed. Tell me which university will follow up after you graduate. Nobody, no one cares. I, no one cares whether you get the material or not. It's none of their duty. You are on your own. But here, we, are, we do care. I, so we do care. So we understand that what we're doing here is evangelism. I, it's evangelism because it's not for the money that we're doing this. Because in this IT field, I've said it over and over to people so many times that what we do is because we want to reach out to our community and change our mindset and also get our people in this field that we see that is paying well. Because um, if you were to take a similar thing somewhere, you will pay more than three or four times the amount, but you are not even going to come close to the amount of support that we provide for programs like that. So that's why we are successful in this because we do follow up to make sure that you really get it. Now, what do we expect from you? I, we need you to be in class. 
Most of you think that this is an uh, online training. You can do it anyhow, but we track your attendance. We make sure you're in class and we will dismiss you if you don't follow up. I, so we, we, you have to be in class. It's not online where we just have recorded videos. You come in, you pick up the videos and you watch and you do your assignment. No, here we expect you to be live in class to follow up because there's a main difference when you just watch a video and when you are actually in class where you can stop the instructor, share your screen, get her, and then you move on. Right? And you also have other people that are doing the same and then you can network with them and have an understanding. One thing we want from you is don't be an island. Do not. Right? When you are here, it's a community. So don't only think that I can only talk to the instructor or to my best friend that I know in this training. No, you have to open up to talk to people. Get other people that are doing this training and network with them because that is the best way you learn. And we will have structured our program to force you to do that. So you have no choice at all because once you start this program, we'll place you on a group. And in the group, you are going to work with other people. Right? So there's no project that you have to do on your own here. We want you to work as a team because that's the concept out there. In the job market, you don't do this on your own. You are in the team with other people. So that's what we want. And of course, you need to attend 95% of these classes to be successful. And do your homework. Some of you here have not heard the word homework for the last, I don't know when, when was the last time you heard that? But we are going to make you do your homework here. You've got to do homework. And we have enough of them. I, because this training, there's little to read, very little to read. But it's about hands on. That's, it, that, that's why it's a hands on training. Because we want you to master the skills here. I, so active participation is very, very vital for your success in this program. So there's only one thing we promise you if you give us 100% attention, we will promise you a brighter future. And remember, we can only give you 50% of what you need. The rest has to come from you. So no matter how dedicated, committed we are, if you don't give us that 50%, you're not going to make it, right? So guys, cease from thinking that this is a quick way to get rich. It's not. You've got to put in the work. Something must have caused you to be sitting here today to want to take this program because you want to change. So why do you want to change? And then you come in and you don't want to put the work. So we have the resources for you to be successful, but you need to bring the, the mindset. And I say this over and over to everyone. We are not interested in your money. We are interested in seeing a change in your life. So if you are here and you don't have the time at all to take this program, please don't waste your money. It's a waste. And we say it. We're not interested in the money. We want you to come in here, have your time, and make something out of that, right? Okay, so why should we join up, right? We are not the only training school in the US, but why should you do it with us? Because we are there and we are committed and we make sure that you succeed. We have hands-on training. Our method is offered nowhere else. And not only are we there, we are dedicated and we make sure that we follow you through and we never give up on you, right? Um, the only thing that we stop here is that you've gotten your job and you're out of the training. But even at that moment, we are still there for you. We are with the webinar and our one-on-one -on -one support. So we don't give up. Right? So every single class is recorded and you do have access to that. You do have access. You are exposed to a community of more than 500 people that are having the same mindset and willing to help you succeed. So why don't you want to be part of it? The team, all right? We we chat through social media platform and we stay professional. No posting of videos that are not linked to what we do. No no funny comments. No disrespect for anybody. We are all here for a common goal to see that everyone succeeds. And that's it. So if you identify yourself as someone who can relate with this kind of mindset, then you should join us. All right? So uh, we provide all these things for you at your doorstep. So we've been sending this out to you in the forum and I've said it 
one million times. This is something I want to draw your attention right now. A lot of you guys don't want to read. And I know people say Africans don't want to read. I'm not saying know, every one of us here is African, but the one thing that you have to do, you need to change that mindset is you've got to read, especially anything that comes through a platform that you will be placed on. Why am I saying this? This is our bike 11 class schedule. And we've put out these options. I will explain it in the forum multiple times. We gave this out just for you to have an, an idea. What are the different schedules that we have? After this orientation, we will send out through different WhatsApp forums and you will identify yourself with which of these options works for you and join the class. That is the only time you are supposed to make a choice on which class to join. I, so this is it for our SQL Server class. Now, we are going to create another forum for those that are here for Azure, and those that are here for AWS, and those that are here for Oracle. And within that forum, we will place the, the, the schedule for you. The reason why we only have a predefined schedule for SQL Server is because this is one of the large clouds that we have here, here with it. So it's kind of really difficult to create um, the schedule. But in your own forum, after this, once we put out the, the, the leads online, go there and join the class that you want. And if you are not in any of our WhatsApp forum, um, uh, please, our communication will put out a number here for you to contact, or you can contact this one on the screen, and then we will add you to any of the WhatsApp forum. All right? So this is there for you to know. So at this particular moment here, I come to the end of our presentation of what Care Will Take is all about. We will give you time to ask questions. Either you're putting them in the forum or you are uh, holding back to your question. We will give you room to ask questions for you. So just hold on with those questions for now. So now at this particular moment, I want to take this time to really welcome you again. We are going to give you guys room to meet our team. Uh, of professionals that are here to make sure that you get to this final goal. Remember what I said, this is not a one man's job. It's a whole community. Um, we're not able to get everyone in this community to say a word, but we know that you are there uh, helping us. So we'll just keep room for you to meet your, uh, first of all, I'm going to introduce your instructors, the ones that will be um, accompanying you throughout this journey for them to say a word, and then we'll, we'll start from there. All right. So. Let me start off with um, Madam Foster. Uh, is she here now? Or, or am I go? Please make sure you unmute yourself. All right, while she's trying to unmute herself. All right, so I'm going to go forward and give Doctor, uh, please. Can you move on with someone? I just had someone that came in, so those who are right, okay, no the problem. journey, I'll be All heading right. back. Yes. No, no problem, madam. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and welcome our Azure um, instructor for this program that will be handling this Azure training. Um, personally, myself, um, let me first of all start with myself. My name is Dr. Dennis Kiawi. Um, I'm a certified database administrator, as well as Azure, and I do also have uh, uh, AWS. So I train people here on Microsoft SQL Server, Azure, and also AWS. I, so these are the, 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 the things that I do here. Um, I've been doing this uh, since I started working, and I'm fully dedicated to make sure that you succeed. I'm saying a lot about myself, so I'm going to go move on to the uh, instructors. I'll give room for Romeo to greet you guys. Hi everyone. Dr. Yes, can you hear me? Let me stop sharing and bring this here. All right. Can you hear me? Yes, please go ahead. All right. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to say um good evening to everyone who is here. I can see the bright faces and uh, the beautiful faces. I'm really excited to have you guys here. You guys have made the right choice. Hoping that this number that we have today is gonna be the end of the training. So um, my name is Mambe Romeo. I'm a Microsoft certified uh, instructor. 
I'm also an agile um, solution architect expert, and I'm an instructor in a Jamie Tech IT Academy. So um, I myself started here like a kid. So uh, for those of you who are coming here with a lot of doubt, I was going to bring the mic a little bit closer to you. Yeah, can you hear me now? Is it better? Yes, it's a little bit better now. Yes. All right. So um, yeah, I would say that uh, I'm an uh, agile solution architect expert and I'm an instructor here at Jamie Tech IT Academy. And uh, can you still hear me or is it more difficult to hear me? It's, it's, can it's you hear very. It's, I don't know if it's only me. What did you guys hear you well? No, no we can't. No, we haven't a hard time. Uh, you. All right. Um, can you move on with another instructor while I'm right, Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on and you come back later. Let's All right. Okay. So I'm going to give room for Beltus. Uh, Mr. Beltus is, uh, I'll give, leave, leave you to introduce yourself. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, Kiawi, the coordinator and CEO of Kiawi Tech IT Academy, and uh, I really thank each and every one of you. Uh, Mr. Beltus, do you mind yes. putting on your video? Oh, sorry, I thought I had my video on. What happened? C can't you see my video? His video is, His video is on. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, oh, you need to put me on the spotlight, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I was looking for you. I was, I was seeing for that. Um, okay. okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. Sorry, I okay. I, That's I, good. All right, there you go. The host, uh, okay, good, good. Okay, yeah, so do thank you very much. Uh, and uh, also thank each and every one of us, the instructors at Kiawi Tech IT Academy who have been doing a great job. I say kudos to you guys. Uh, also for every one of us present on this platform today, you are highly welcomed. Uh, I am a database administrator. I uh, also assist Kiawi Tech IT Academic in the teaching. I also uh, assist for interview preparations. So I am, um, you can always rely on me when it comes to interview preparations. So a small background of myself, I have a degree in, I have a small background in business and economics, no formal education in IT. So guys, the reason I say this is just for you to know that you can come from any background and you find yourself a product in the IT world. I also understand that some of us on this platform today are here because we just want to learn, we are anxious, not because we really want to have a career in the IT field. I welcome you and I say you are on the right platform with the right people. And it is a good initiative to always learn and learn because Harry Ford, one of the people I admire says, anyone who stops learning is, is old. Whether at 20 or 80, anyone who keeps learning stays young. So guys, you can learn. For those of us that are here because we want to have an IT career, I will say you are opportune to have known us. And I believe if you uh, do your homework, it is going to be possible for you to live your dreams. But the dreams are, also, are only going to come in if you put in the effort. It is not going to come through the platter of gold. So I always admire this guy, Francis Nganu, the Cameroonian UFC champion, who is one of my idols, who says, I quote, if you dream big and work hard to become who you really want to be, you can be a hero to yourself and a hero to someone else. So guys, we will assist you, but you must also do your homework because failing to prepare is failing to succeed. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much, Beltos. Such a wonderful uh, greeting there. Um, thank you for being part of the team and for your uh, relentless effort to making sure that we achieve these goals. Uh, I'll give room to Mr. Milton, please, to say a few words. Thank you so much, Dr. Uh, can everyone hear me? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Forgive me, my voice is not too good because I am not feeling too well. Hopefully everyone is able to hear me. My name is um, Milton Chia, and uh, I'm going to be one of your instructors for Microsoft uh, SQL Server. And um, I have a couple of certifications that I'm not going to mention all, uh, but I 
I have my MCSA in Civil Server Database Administrator, which is what will basically concern you. Um, also, I also certify for AWS as what we call a, a AWS pract uh, practitioner. And I also have my solutions architect, AWS solutions architect certified. Um, just like um, uh, Mr. Belto said, my watchword is that um, the Bible says that faith comes by hearing, but success comes by hard work. So as you come into Kawitech, we believe that you're going to work hard if you want to succeed with us because we're going to put in our best. We cannot sing our praises right here, but I can tell you for sure, and one person within the community that I've had the opportunity to attend lots of different trainings. And I can tell you that there is no community like Curry Tech. And I, and I say that every time. And I don't say that because I want to convince you, but for those that have had other trainings and you're coming here, you're going to see that love, that unity, that cohesion amongst us and how we want to be able to put you through to get to your finishing line. Listen to us, follow the, what we, we, we're going to be telling you and you're going to get to your success. And doctor, if I may, as a last word, and just to add, I always like to share vital information. Um, I will share my screen. And the reason I'm sharing my screen is to bring up this website, which is called the US Bureau of Level Statistics, which is a government website. And you can see what the database administrators here, you can see the summary. The median P is 98,860 per year, right? For entry level on the job training, it's none. Experience is none. You don't have to you have any experience, right? This is by Bureau of Labor Statistics. And you can see that this was updated on Friday, April, in April of this year. I wanted to bring this so that you see we are not trying to convince you. This is statistics that the government is a government. You can go there, search it. And most importantly, what I wanted to share with you on this link is this phrase here that talks about the job outlook. Uh, this is employment of database. I'm sure is projected to grow 10% from 2019 to 2029. Okay, much faster than the average of all occupations. So. This is not where we take saying it. I'm just saying it's entirely up to you. You you thought about this. You made the best decision. That's a government link. You can go there, search for whatever information you want to search to be able to know that you made the right choice of being with us. Thank you so much. If I have another opportunity to answer any question in relation to my background and what I intend to <coughs> Uh, do to you as far as your training here at Kirby Tech is concerned, I'll be uh, welcome to, to ask that question. Thank you. And back to you, Doctor. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Milton. Uh, we appreciate that. I appreciate uh, Mr. Milton is someone that you will know here when it comes to statistics. He is mighty his words with, with uh, statistics out there. You know, so, guys, uh, get yourself read a little bit, right? Don't just believe everything we tell you here blindly. Um, do yourself some education and be convinced. Don't let us say because uh, you feel that we're just there. So go on, do some research, look at those websites. And also when you're joining a field, always look at job perspective, right? What is the, the prospect as time goes on to make sure that you are doing the right thing? And we are here to help you uh, make that right decision. All right. Okay. So I'm going to move on with Supreme. Uh, uh, Supran, it's uh, one of our instructors here at Kiawe Tech. I'm going to give him the floor to introduce himself. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Kiawe. Um, and good evening and welcome to everyone who is taking part in this uh, orientation session of today. My name is Supran Awafan. Um, I am uh, an instructor. Uh, with IT, Kiawitek uh, IT Academy, uh, over 14 years plus experience in the IT domain, um, main consultancy, uh, database administration, uh, networking, and many other fields in the ICT industry. Um, guys, for those of you who have made the decision to join here with the ID Academy. I am only very sure about one thing, that in the next two months, you will start regretting. What will be the regret? 
that why have you not joined Kiawitek four years back? But you know what? The best time to have planted a mango tree was 20 years ago. You will be reaping and eating the mango fruits right now. But you know what the second best time is now? Take the decision, join the trail, and we will succeed together. We would always be there to give you the assistance that you need all the time. Whenever you feel that um, you really need to talk to someone to give you assistance on even a one-on-one -on -one level basis, please feel free to reach out to any of our instructors. We are just those kinds of human beings. I look forward to teaching you uh, in the days ahead. And of course, please, Stay motivated, stay determined, and one thing, make sure that you have joined Kiawitek with a dream, because our main duty is to turn that dream into reality. Thank you all. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you so much, uh, Supreme. I'm so happy that you guys are really taking the time so that we, 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 we leave our dignity uh, uh, not waiting for so long. All right, so I'm going to give room for, I see Madam Foster is now online. I give her a floor to greet you guys. Yeah. Hello, thank you so much, Doctor. And sorry for the inconveniences earlier. So um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk and thank you and welcome to everyone that is here. As you all have heard, my name is Forrester Changi. I'm gonna be one of the instructors one of your instructors, so I've been instructing at Kiawitech for a while now. And for some of my qualifications, I'm a data, I'm a, a Microsoft database administrator and also an Azure engineer. So I have some certifications. I have quite a number of them, but the ones that really qualify me to be your instructor here is a Microsoft certified trainer. So that's one of the highest certifications that I've got, which qualifies me to really give you the knowledge that I've acquired from Microsoft for over the years. So, um, so seeing you all here, I know you all are here because you've heard uh, about Kiawi Tech from someone, or you've seen someone that has succeeded in his career, or a friend has recommended you here. So you guys are here for a reason, right? And that reason is because you like, or maybe you saw someone, someone's life ch got changed because of this training. So I just want to say you guys made the right decision, just like Cyprian said, that you might be thinking or regretting that, oh, I might have taken this decision or I might have made this decision some years back, right? They say any time or oh, God's time is the best. This is just the best time, the best decision that you've taken in your life and you should not take this decision laying down. Like doctor has actually said, we are all here to give you the best. We are here to give you our all. It's a community, it's not an individual thing and you cannot succeed here if you wanna make yourself an island. You have a whole group of people here and not just people, but people who are willing to help you. At any time you call anyone here, someone is willing to help you. Put out a problem here, someone is there willing to help you. So guys, you're all welcome. And those that are going to take, especially the database administrator class or the Azure class that I'm gonna be instructing, guys, just come in, op like be open to learn, right? There is no, we're not babysitting. Everyone here, it's an adult, right? So just come in here, be ready to learn. That is all what we need. All we need here are those open minds, people who are ready to learn, people who are striving to succeed, people who are striving to, 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 to change their lives. Like you've seen others' lives change, you're, 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 striving, you're striving to be in that same uh, shoes, you know. So what I'm going to say is, guys, to achieve that success that we all are striving for, I'm just going to read a few meanings here that success says. So to be successful, you have to see your goals, right? You have to see your goals. The reason why you're here at Kiawe Tech, you want to be either a database administrator, you want to be either a, an Azure database administrator, uh, Oracle, or what a few, right? You have to understand the obstacles. It's not going to be an easy journey, right? It's going to be ups and downs. There are days like you're going to be like, ah, 
I don't know how I'm going to finish this, but those obstacles is what will keep you going. Because they say, when you fall, you don't want to you, you don't want to stay on the floor, but you want to get up and keep moving. So those are the obstacles that you're going to get on your way. You need to overcome, overcome those obstacles. You also have to create a positive mental picture. You have to be positive every day, in and out. You have to be positive. Because without that positivity, you're not going to reach to the end goal of this training, right? You have to clear your mind of self-doubt. I know most of you doubt yourself like, hmm, am I going to do this? I don't have any IT experience. I don't have any uh, a base or basic on IT, right? I, for one, I can testify. I have some of my colleagues here that were working far some days back in, in the hospital, but I'm here talking about IT. So if I can do it, no, you can do it. But what you have to do is you have to clear your mind from those self-doubt. Know that if someone can do it, you can also do it. If someone can do it with no IT experience, you can also do it. Another thing is you have to embrace the challenges. There's going to be a lot of challenges on your way, either family challenges, they're just the uh, the time maybe you know, the time management between your classes and your work and all of that you have to embrace those challenges you also have to stay on track stay on track attend your classes because if you miss a class guys it's hard to catch up though we're gonna make videos every class is recorded and put out there but you have to stay on track by attending the classes doing your homework doing your project working with your teams which is very very helpful and also you have to show the world that you can do it. You're not only gonna show I, uh, here we take that you can do it, but you're gonna show the world that you can do it, right? Because if you only show, if you only show IT, um, uh, Kia, we take IT that you can do it without showing the world that would not have had all of you here. It's because someone showed you that they could do it. That is why you are here today. So I just wanna thank you all for, for coming. Like, you guys should just do your best, stay focused on your goals, picture the end results and all the satisfaction that it will bring. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much, Madam Foster. Appreciate your work. I uh, appreciate you always, always, always there. We need to make sure that everyone succeeds. I, you better do your own work because Madam Foster is gonna come after you. <laughs> All right, so Mr. Romeo, uh, can, I, can we see, talk, hear from you now? Let's see if hey, the mic is... Uh, hope you can hear me now. Perfect. One, one, five on five. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, once more, good afternoon, guys. Um, I think I introduced myself already, but let me just do it again. My name is Romeo, and Mara Foster is my uh, sequel mother. I used to call her my sequel mother. So we are very happy and excited to have you guys here today. And as you can see, this is a team of very young and talented people. Everybody who is here today, is gonna guarantee you one thing, success. We can't guarantee you one thing, your availability. That is something that you have to guarantee us, but we can guarantee you success. So I am a SQL Server Database Administrator, and also I'm gonna be, for those who are gonna take the Azure class, uh, Azure uh, Cloud Computing uh, Program Coordinator, and I'm gonna be teaching with Madam Foster here. So I think my colleagues have already said everything. What I'm gonna ask you guys, just give us your time, and we're gonna change your lives. Believe me, give us your time and we're going to change your lives. This thing, we don't speak what we can do. We preach by example. Everybody sitting here amongst your instructors, we all started this thing like a joke. Before you knew it, the bank account, there is alert everywhere. Before you know it, Friday, your bank account keeps smiling. Sometimes I wake up 3 a.m. in the morning. You know, 3 a.m. sometimes when I watch my movie and I have to, you know, go eat myself 3 a.m. in the morning. First thing I do on Friday, I check my bank account, something is there, the alert is there, right? Before you know it, it is full. So guys, this program we are giving you here, we are giving you hands-on practical training. We give you real life training. What we do at our jobs is what we actually do here. We don't come and preach theory here for you to go out there and find out by yourself. We teach you, we sometimes even go further to go into our job environment. We share our environment to let you know that this thing that we just told you yesterday, this is a task that I've been given to me today. And this is what I'm gonna be doing today. So just come in, be consistent. That is my word, consistency. Sometimes it might really seem boring. 
sometimes it might really seem challenging, but like we say, like Dr. Riley said, this is a community. You can reach out to any other person here beside the instructors that you have, and they will always be available 24 seven, anytime. Reach out to them and you will be okay. I hear some people, I see some questions like how, how long I've been in this industry. I've been in the IT field for over 14, 15 years now, but like a secret server database administrator, I've been in like eight years. So we are well equipped. We have the weapons to give you that success. The money is out there. The Indians have floated the market, which is a good thing. But now it is our own turn to also take control of the market. So you are in the right place. Just be consistent. Believe in what you're doing. Follow your training. Do your assignment unless Madam Foster comes behind you. Do your assignment, guys. And uh, every other thing is going to be possible. So I will see you guys during the training. We don't have much to say here. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much, Romeo. Thank you so much. Uh, give room for... Uh, guys, uh, uh, it's very important that you get to see all your instructors. You might see that it's a long list. This is also for you to understand that you're going to be seeing so many different faces. So today, we can at least give you room to see all the people that will be accompanying you in this, in this journey. Eight months is not a short period of time. So you're going to see all the people that are there to make sure you succeed. All right, Maxine, please go ahead. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Kerry, CEO of uh, Kerry Tech IT. Uh, good evening to you all. Good afternoon. I know you're in different time zone. Uh, good evening, dear instructors, let me say it again, and uh, good evening to all the Kerry Tech trainees and the prospective trainees. So I'm called the uh, Foucault Township Nellos Maxim. I'm based in Cameroon, precisely in Douala. I'm part of the uh, Tech IT instructor. Uh, as uh, my colleagues have just said, the instructors, that here we preach the gospel, the Tech gospel in the IT field. And we talk of the gospel, we talk of it's so good to be true. You know, here in Cameroon, there's a way of, uh, of, of training, of, of studying. I will try to base myself in Cameroon, you know, I'm in the environment to encourage uh, mostly those African trainees and uh, those in Cameroon because we are facing some, some serious challenge this year. You know, our educational system here is mostly talking, 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 and at the end, they, they give you a, a degree, a paper, like I, for one, I'll be defending my MA uh, this month in the telecommunications and net networking. But in that field, what makes me stand on my ground is are the certifications I'm taking, like, uh, database administration, Azure. When I speak in class, they know that no, I have so much ground. And I took that, all these from the Kiawe Tech IT. So I just wish to encourage you that here, we do so much with practical work. It's not just about talking, talking. You need to prove what you are doing. That makes you extremely strong. And uh, also in this our, uh, side, we always have problems with internet connection which can really discourage you. I will not like you to be discouraged. You just persevere with our own way of uh, having our partial connection here to follow out the, follow through this eight months course. And uh, you will need also to sacrifice some of your activities if you want to be fully involved to get all these six figures we are talking about. Uh, so uh, I wish you all well. It's really a gospel that you really need to see the end from the beginning. It will not be easy. It will be very, very difficult. But at the end, there will be so much joy on your faces. You know, when Doc came to Cameroon, uh, one of his mission, one of uh, our mission is to make Cameroon as India. If you have IT men here everywhere, here you will not only learn about the uh, SQL Server or uh, AWS, Azure, but you have skills in IT that you yourself uh, you'll be so surprised. So many things we are going to touch and will make you a very, very big professional. So thank you, that's all I have to share with you guys. Thank you so much, Maxime. Uh, as you guys can see, we are all, all over the world. We are not only based here in the US, and we actually make sure that we have key individuals on different areas that are there to help you succeed. And Maxime happens to be one of them in Cameroon. We're going to move to the next person that is also very vital to our training, located in Germany. Um, uh, my, uh, my, my fellow brother, Zebedee, please go ahead. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? 
Yes, sir. Okay, nice to be nice to be here today. I've been waiting for this particular day uh, because uh, this is one of the most important days in care we take. Uh, welcome to everyone here on board, the trainees, those who are in, here for the first time, all the instruct, uh, instructors, Dr. Dennis Carey, the founder of Caritech. All protocol respected. Uh, I want to say this is, if you are present here today, you are very lucky. Not lucky because you, are, you have had a job, but lucky because information is power. We are giving you, dishing out the information to you today, which for free. And if you know, rich people do pay for seminars to get information, mm. how they can get rich. And if you can sit here today and get this information, this is very, very important. Consider this a million that you are winning today. Thank you all for coming. And I know some of you sitting here today will be asking that question that you have been hearing today, am I going to make it? You will see if you have been attending or, or if you have had the chance to attend one of our webinars, you will realize that there are people here who are asking this very question from the beginning. And uh, if you know, if you don't think that anything, there is any, that law is just by, by chance. If you go by definition of law, you will realize that law is when hard work meet opportunity. You don't just see it. Let's take an example of somebody who has won a lottery. If you didn't go out of your house to play the lottery, you would, you would not win. You will not sit in your house and they will tell you that by, by chance, you were, you were selected and they were played. The, lo the lottery was played on your name. That is not going to happen. So, we are here to encourage you to know that you are in the right field. If doctor can tell you his experience in IT, and if I can tell you my experience in IT, I will tell you that those are, some, those are things that we dropped in the university. Sorry, I did not say who I am or what I do. I'm, uh, I'm Zebedee Kiawe, as you have already heard. Um, I was just a little bit so happy to go into the information that I want to give you people. I am I'm an MD, I hold an, a master's degree in uh, business administration. And uh, I've worked uh, in so many IT companies. And when I sit back today and I picture myself, and I say, the first thing I started learning, studying in the university was informatics. And I dropped because it was too hard. And what I realized is too, because I did, not, I, did not, I did not believe in myself. That's the same thing with doctor. Doctor was studying, the first thing he started studying in the university was um, medical informatics and he dropped because he thought that it was difficult. So this is the same thing we are having to, we are saying. We did not believe in ourselves and we were not thinking positively. Believe in, the post, believe in positive thinking. The negative things put aside and think about the positive ones. When you go to companies and you see the criticism that people are writing, Ask yourself how many positive ones are also there and how many taking negative ones are there. And you'll see that if you see the positive one more than the negative one, it means you put yourself in the positive direct in the positive side and move forward. And success story, as we are talking, we have been telling you people here, I will tell you, success comes with a lot of hindrances. Don't take the leaf, but take the staircase. We are going to face difficulties on the way. You are going to fall out with people. You are, guilt, you are going to face any the type of challenges that you have never faced. And believe me, when you get you are, when you become successful, you are going to start having enemies. The moment you start seeing enemies coming your way, know that you are very very successful. I watched uh, Opa Winfred, Winfred, who was telling you talking about talking in his show in her show about some people who have become successful. Just picture in your, in your mind, people who, are, who has no names. When something happens to them, we don't, they, there's no noise in the media, there's nothing. Why? Because they, are not, they, are, they, they don't have any success stories to tell. You are going to be successful here. And believe me, your success, your success will not be the happiness of most people. And if you can see, most people, 
people that are, are, are successful, people tend to feel, to think that they, they hate them, but that is not the true story. You are going to go, we are going to guide you through this process together. Care Tech is doing what is exceptional. What you are going to experience here, believe me, is not, we are not uh, just trying to say good things about ourselves. You are going to say those good things for us. We are not going to be the one to say those good things. If you can watch our uh, testimonials in our webpage, in YouTube, you are going to see people testifying. Reach out to these people and ask them, is this really true? You become, be sure that you will be, you will be counted among these people testifying the good work of character. And I look forward in seeing you people. Those in Africa, please take the, the challenge and prove other people wrong. Prove to the people that you are one of those people that will show an example that it is possible. Yep. Don't give, don't fall for the weak. Don't put yourself in that position where you will join the majority of lazy people. Hard work, success is never easy. And it, it is not on the bed of roses. If you are not ready to, to sacrifice, you are in the wrong place. If you know that you can sacrifice something in your life because you want to achieve something, then you are in the right place. Have a, a, good, a, a proper mindset and be ready that the next nine months is not going to be easy, but you will laugh for the next 100 years. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you very much, the whole team. I'm very pleased to be with you people today and we look forward to seeing those of you who are interested in our program. Thank you. Thank you so much for those words, Zeb. Uh, those of you who are in Germany and uh, you need assistance in uh, understanding how to migrate through this, feel free to reach out to him. He will be uh, the right person to contact and talk to you and help you actually go through this. And we make sure that we have our schedule uh, that suits people in different geographical regions. So if you looked at our options that we have out there, you will definitely see something that works within your time zone. And make sure that once we put on that list, that you click and join the right class. All right, we are going international. So we're going to the next uh, international trainee that we have here at uh, Kiawe Tech. Uh, there's no other person than my fellow brother, John Anze. Please, John, go ahead. Hello, everyone. You can see everybody smiling. <laughs> um, I want to start by thanking Dr. Kwai for giving me this uh, opportunity to uh, talk today. I want to salute all the uh, my fellow um, instructors. Um, guys, I just want to let you know, I don't, I'm going to be very short. Um, and my name is John Gang Aze, proper introduction. And I'm currently based in Canada, uh, precisely in Alberta. So um, I've seen a lot of questions coming in from um, different uh, aspiring trainees about um, you know, some of the being in different part of the world, in UK, in Germany, Cameroon, and all whatnot. Um, I just want to let you guys know that this forum, this community is going to enrich you a hundredfold. If you're here today, um, I'm pretty sure something kicked in your mind, right? It might be your job, you're not happy with your job, or you want to change career, or you want a better pay, and you went ahead to roll that dice, expecting to get a six, but you ended up getting a DBA, right? So... I can assure you that uh, this field is a field that's going to make you smile and you will smile for a long time. It has made me smile. And that's why I'm here today to encourage every one of you that is sitting here today, that is taking that bold step to be a DBA. You will not regret it. It will be a milestone in your life. It will be a stepping stone. It will be a ladder to climb. Uh, it is true that there are many obstacles that you will face along the line, but those obstacles are only gonna make you strong. Nothing good comes easy, that's one thing you should know. And just like my fellow um, brother Rumi said, if you wanna succeed in this field, you need to be consistent. I am a product of Kiawe Tech. Um, I'm proud to be an instructor. I'm, I'm a Microsoft certified trainer. Uh, I'm, a, I'm also an Azure associate trainer as well as an Azure um, architect technology. So we are going to be giving you all we have, everything. 
nothing is going to be left behind. We're not going to hold back anything from you guys. We will teach you everything you need to know. We will hold your hands right up to the finish line. We will ask you guys to hop onto that board, the Cherry Tech board, and we'll take you to the final destination. I bet you there's not going to be any um, icebergs or anything that's going to you know, get the boat to sink because we have all the proper data put in place to make you succeed. All you need to do is to sacrifice, a little bit of sacrifice. That's all you need to do. If you've been spending 10 hours on uh, Netflix, cut it down. Right. Spend 10 hours on Kerry Tech. Spend 10 hours on DBA. And I bet you, you will come up and you will stand up in front of everybody and you will talk DBA. And you won't believe it. By the time you're done with this course, you're going to be a five years experienced DBA. You're not going to be a two months or eight months or six months. You're going to be five years experienced DBA. You go out and you tackle any interview you need to tackle. And one last thing for a roundup, I just want to read something that, I've, that really pushed my mind and helped me to succeed is wisdom. One of the things you need to know is this is wisdom is not a product of schooling, but of a lifelong attempt to acquire it. So attain knowledge, add things every day. If you want to attain knowledge, you need to add information, you need to study, you need to go in, find things, upgrade yourself. To attain wisdom, remove things every day. Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to Care with Tech, and we will give you everything you need to know. Thank you very much. Bless day. Thank you so much, John. John is currently in Canada. And uh, for those of you who are attending this from Canada, uh, if you have any specific question uh, linked with Canadian laws and how to go through this process and finally get a job, there's the right person for you to reach out to. Uh, we will provide a number if you need so. Thank you so much, John. So, Caritech is constantly partnering with all the training schools. And one thing that we keep saying is that we want a change of a community, a change of our own people. And in order for us to do that, we cannot do this on our own. We have to have as many people on board that will come in and help move this to a different level. And one of the few things that we've done is we are planning to do is also offering innovations, innovation summits that's coming up next year, uh, where we're going to bring IT professionals from all training schools that exist here in the US or anyone that in the IT field to come in and let's network and learn and get new ideas. I bet you, if you look at these communities that are doing very well in this, they never do it by themselves. They have to network with one another and get those ideas. We want to have companies uh, of African origin, right? IT top IT companies here in the US, or all over the world. Why? Why can't we not do it? We can do it. If the Indians and other communities did it, we can also do it. And the only way we can do that is by believing in ourselves and working together. By that said, I'd like to welcome the CEO of Torch House Tech, uh, who will be helping us here in the uh, Oracle training here at Kiawe Tech, and uh, he's here to give you a few words. Torch, please, go ahead. Yeah, um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, coming to you guys live from my dungeon where I'm under siege from Corona, so I'm not in the best of form, but uh, right, get to the end of it. Yeah, so um, I will just try my best to, you know, put out the information as much as I can. So um, as Dr. already mentioned, my name is George Salen Tikonge, and I've been in the IT field for God knows, because I started way, way younger. Need some people. Hold on, hold on. Let me meet a couple of people. Go ahead, please. Yeah, so um, came up from you know doing computer assemblies work through the a1 uh, a plus certification network plus security plus right up to where we are today dba and also cloud because i'm certified in oracle microsoft sql server azure and uh, aws so um touch house tech is going to be in charge of your oracle formation and uh, just to add some more um, light onto that, um, we are going to take a very pragmatic approach to how we give you this information because the trend in the industry right now is you don't have to know just one database platform. So 
for that reason, we are going to give you Oracle, MySQL, and Postgres to an, to, you know, an extent, just so that when you get to your environment, you are not lost. And because there's a lot of migration going on right now from one um, database platform to the other, we are going to walk you through all those processes and also walk you to your role as a DBA in the cloud. So we'll walk you through how to, you know, um, spin up your databases in the cloud, be it um, mostly AWS. I'm not going to teach you AWS completely, no, but I'm going to give you what is essential for you as a DBA because at work, you're not going to be a solution architect and a DBA. That doesn't happen. So, and uh, you migrate your databases to the cloud because there's a lot of migration to the cloud. We're trying to go with the trend. And from day one, you would start, you know, practical work because we are going to provide servers, right? So you don't have to get a super dangerous computer to join the class. Your computer just needs to be able to connect to the internet. That's it. You're going to have your server. You can go in there and mess it up how you want, which is going to build you up, right? And we have production environments with production live data. So you're going to be doing actual stuff, not um, simulations, but you have a production database because there's an application that runs on that um, production database. So you'll be on call just like at work, you know, as you go down your, your training so that you get used to the, the rhythm of being a DB and an IT professional, because the target here is not to make you just a DBA, but a well-rounded IT professional so that, you know, wherever you go, you talk, somebody's going to know that they know what they're talking about. So that being said, you know, from the beginning stages, will take you a little bit into a little bit of system administration just to touch up so you have an idea and networking right from a Linux standpoint, but some of those apply to Windows, right? Because we're gonna be working on Linux, which is the most used um, server for, uh, the, the most used operating system for servers, right? Then, um, and it's the choice for um, developers and, you know, IT professional because it's very stable and it's very resistant to hacks. That's why Linux is beyond in fact, once you know Linux, you're golden, very, very golden. And the other thing to know is we've, we've talked too much about Microsoft SQL Server, but just a little fun fact, Oracle is the number one database. MySQL is number two. SQL Server is number three. And Postgres is number four. And the rest come in any other order. If you want to see that, I can show you that right now real quick. So just like Newton, he likes going with facts. And uh, let me just show you real quick. There you go. So this is as of 20 July 14, 2021. You see Oracle is right up there. MySQL, SQL Server, Postgres, MongoDB, IBM DB2, and the list goes on. Yeah, in that order, my yes. boss. <laughs> I love statistics. Yeah. So if you're learning Oracle, don't be scared because you've not heard about it before. Trust me, you will find it almost everywhere because most 90% of companies put their most critical data in Oracle databases because they are very robust, very stable, and well-documented. You cannot look for something for an issue online and you don't see a fix, somebody has done it. You see what I'm saying? And the other thing we are going to be um, learning is I will take you since uh, I have multiple tools, which we are going to use, which we would uh, have Toad for Oracle. We are going to have Toad for MySQL. We're going to have um, SQL Developer, OEM 13C, because a lot of people get scared with Oracle. They're like, oh, it's just the command line. No, it's not just the command line. Everything you can do on command line, you can do on OEM. You can do 
80% on tool. I'll teach you how to grasp those tools. Once you know those tools, you're golden. The mission here is to make you a lazy DBA because like Bill Gates said, if you have a job, give the laziest person, he'll find the best way to get it done. I don't want you to come into the field and you're breaking your head. I want you to think fast, think in a very different way. Don't be manual. Try to think, you know, out of the box because that way, no matter what, no matter what you face, you'll find a solution. And just to mention, I started off as a DBA. My first database I worked on was Sybase. I knew nothing about it, but hey, I had to do, I had to do it. So just cause you're doing Oracle today or Microsoft SQL Server, you might get a job. They say they're going to interview you for SQL Server or Oracle, but once you get there, they say, oh, you know what? You're going to work on MySQL. What would you do? Or Postgres or MongoDB, what would you do? You need to have that mindset. And we are going to teach you and make you understand that all databases are almost the same. Now, differences start coming up on specific technologies in there, but a database is going to be a database. A table is a table. Indexes, sequences, all those things are all the same. When it gets to um, high availability and maximum availability, each person calls it their own way. But bottom line is it's the same damn principle sorry for the french but sometimes it's nice to break it down just that easy so you come in your first month you start building your resume from the very first month because everything we do you would have to put it down somewhere because the approach here is for every topic we are doing live you know uh, practicals every topic and we'll have issues i have a repository of oracle issues right and fixes so we would have to go through as you're fixing these things you're putting it down because your interview is talking about what you have done not what you know no what you have done so you don't go for an interview and they say um, um so tell us how do you do this um i know that no at my job here this is what i did you will be talking from what you have done already, you know? So that way you are very, very fluent in whatever you're doing. And also I'm gonna have um, a couple of friends from AWS and other companies drop by from time to time, you know, to give you guys some um, prep talks and uh, a little bit of um, Linux system administration too, just so you have a very good grasp of where you are standing, right? So once you go out there, you're not stranded. You're going out there confident. Whatever you meet, you will target it and you make it happen. And also at the end of the class, I have my notes, which are almost all the issues I've met, right? I will give that to the best student. That note, I guarantee you, whatever you meet, you would make it happen, you know? so that's how we're going to go about it and uh, i'm looking forward to welcoming you guys to the oracle side of defense and uh did i miss out something i don't have a presentation thing oh. um, the other thing is um i'm not going to do microsoft sql server but the only thing i'll do there is show you how to migrate to to uh, microsoft sql server and from microsoft sql server so if you meet that at work you're not surprised. Okay. Thank you, George. All right. Thank you so much, George. Uh, guys, uh, it's very, very important that we understand, just like we said at the beginning, uh, this field is constantly changing. Uh, the fact that you get in and you have a job doesn't make, make means that you're just going to stay in one form. You have to constantly improve your, your skill set. And that's why you see all bringing on professionals that are, um, that are doing well in their field to help you guys also get a mindset of develop other relational database management system that will help you move your career to the next level. All right, um, guys, I just want to make a quick announcement here. If you are in B10-2 class or B10-1, uh, your class is starting. So you have to leave the forum and join your class. Uh, I have instructors calling for you in your class. All right, thank you. So at this particular moment, guys, uh, we've heard 
most of the on, on structures that I'll be teaching you guys, but there's something that if you go through this training and you don't get it, then you're missing the whole point. And that is our interview training. I, um, it's, that's the time that we really make sure that you understand how to talk, you know, not just knowing the practical part, but also know how to explain it out to someone. And we always say, if you know the practical part and you cannot explain to anybody, you will not be able to get a job. So in that sense, I'm bringing in the, the chairman of the interview committee, who oh, is no other person than Jay Emanuel to give you a few words. Thank you so much, Dr. Um, uh, welcome everybody for this, uh, this uh, webinar, to this uh, presentation. It's really a great privilege to see all of your faces and uh, hopefully uh, you guys get me in today with Caritech Academy and one day you guys will be able to meet me in my own corner. <laughs> because uh, uh, just a brief introduction about myself. My name is Emmanuel J. I'm a Secret Server Database Administrator, Microsoft uh, Secret Server Database Certified, uh, Microsoft Azure Certified, AWS Certified, and also uh, Microsoft Certified Trainer. So uh, uh, basically, you guys will meet me at the end, towards the end of the training, where I'm going to be mentoring, mentoring you guys on how to take interviews. I really focus on the, on the questions and the, the real life scenario where different from what you guys will really experience with the mentor or the, the instructors in class, because instructors are going to be giving you the real information. But when you come to me, when you come to us at the interview, uh, orientation, we're going to train you guys on how to actually answer questions in a real life interview. We're going to really put you guys on hot seat, hot seat as if it's really an interview and we're going to form you guys with questions and we're going to tell you go to your face that you are not ready or you are ready to take interview. So that's 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 what we do and, and our success rate has really been close to 100 percent because just for like uh, the last batch, this was like because we've been doing this. This this this, this was actually added uh, in Caritech just like two classes, two batches away. And um, for our last batch, that we, that is just going out right now with the D9, we have a success rate of almost ninety percent. Just about few of them are of like Terry, I think, that are not yet having job, and some of them already. In the third phase of the interview, which is a very, which is that, that's what making us very, very happy and feel very successful. So I just want to encourage you guys and tell you guys that you are in the right position, you are in the right, you are taking the right decision. Uh, just to tell you guys something, guys, uh, I'm actually from a civil engineering background. I didn't have any idea about computing or IT. And even when I came over to the United States, I was working with the Texas Department of Criminal mm -hmm. Justice in prison. For some of you here that are working in prison, you know it has nothing to do with computer and has nothing to do with the database administrator. But and it's it's a very serious job. Just to, for those of you who are thinking about your job that you are doing right now and how you're gonna cope with the class. Uh, I think it's a really great time for you guys to really sit down personally and take a decision because this is not it's not a clear. Uh, I really have to take that decision that I want to make a career change because if you want to depend on what you are doing and want to, 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 to grab a degree job or to, to, to make a career switch, it's going to be very, very difficult for you. So you really need to really take a a very powerful decision if you really want to change. Why I say this is because I have a lot of questions in the background. Uh, how can I manage my job? Uh, can I change my view? Can you uh, switch the timetable to suit my job? We cannot go for a single we, we have We have a schedule that we send out, and uh, you guys need to find a way to fit in that schedule. And what I always tell people is we give you three days in a week that you have to actually take the whole week. If you want to be very successful, that three days is the day you actually meet us in class. But for the rest of the days, you have to dedicate at least an hour a day to actually prepare for yourself. To actually make sure that what is being taught in class is actually simple because we just come and we take it there, click there, click there. And the next day, we are clicking on something else. If you do not take the time to practice on those clicking, you're going to forget as we move forward. 
Uh, when you forget, and then you come and meet me in the interview class, I'm going to tell you that you need to go and start again. So that's something that I want to encourage you guys to do. And uh, hopefully all of you succeed as you guys are making your career. So thank you, Doctor. All right. Thank you so much, Ma. I appreciate your help. And uh, Emma does this in collaborations, co-chair with Norris, who is uh, right now traveling. Uh, I don't know if Norris was here. I would like to hear just one word from you before we move to our trainees that have uh, recently got a job. Yes, doctor, I'm here. All right, okay. <laughs> and hi, yes. everyone. Um, I want to thank every one of us to, um, you know, actually made out this time to attend this meeting, this orientation today. Uh, first of all, I, have, I want to say uh, my sincere apologies to the entire Kiawite team because I'm the only person not on the Kiawite uniform because I'm not, I just traveled out. So, uh, guys, I'm very impressed. You know, when I look at the participants and I see close to 200, um, 200 participants here today for the orientation. Just a quick story where we started this so many years back, like we, we barely had like 10 students. So if today, if we, are, if, we, if we are hitting 200, that's a good work that we are doing, that people are spreading that, that work out there. So I really want to give, uh, you know, much thanks to all the care we take, uh, train, tra trainers and uh, all the mentors. We are doing a great job. For the fact that our trainees have been having jobs, like every month, we, we make sure every month we deliver about 10 or between 5 to 10 DBAs to, them, to the American community. That's because they trust us, and that's why they keep on referring people to us. So I'm very, I'm very happy, uh, you know, for the good job that we are doing. And uh, for the new uh, students that are about to join us um, from next week, I, I want to tell you a little bit of where I started. When I, when I came to America, I was a debt collector. Let me tell you where I started from uh, to where I am today. I was a debt collector. So when we started this, I joined uh, Kiamitech and uh, because of what we are telling you today, that's what Dr. Dennis also told us yesterday. And this is where we are today. So, and uh, today I am a senior database administration with, uh, uh, administrator with West Fargo. I don't know, most, most of us know uh, West Fargo Bank. And at West Fargo, I am the, I am the assistant vice president, president of technology for my team. That's uh, a technology team at West Fargo, so, uh, corporate office in North Carolina. So please, uh, we just want to encourage all of us to, this training is not like we come here and play. And can we take, we take it very serious. We are, we are going to kill you guys with homework. We are going to give you groups that you have to work because at the end of the training, the first people talk to you guys, those were your trainers. Jay might just talk to you and myself. You, at, the end of it, at, the, at the end of the six months, you guys will be passed over to two of us. Please, we will not be joking with anybody. We want to make that very open today because we are in the field. We know what is people ask when you guys go to the interview. So we need to prepare you guys before you guys can actually talk to these people at any level in, in, in any interview so that you can get that job and bring back to care with it. It is our priority that we need to hear a student call us, hey, Dr. Dennis, hey, now he says, I just got a job. I just got an offer. We, we, it makes us very happy. So for us to do that, we work here as a community. That is, you see, the whole team that was introduced to you guys here are people that will answer your phone calls every day. If you call me, if I'm not available, call Emmanuel, call Madam Foster, call Milton, call Zeps. Those are the people that are here to make sure that you guys source it. We are not just talking here because, you know, we want to motivate you guys, but we are, we are actually telling you what we have been doing. It is not like it's a business strategy or anything. No, we don't do that here. So you guys, um, I'm just going to not talk too much. You know, and I'm going to really encourage you guys that if you guys have decided to come in, and one of the best things that we do here, like we don't rush to, because when, when we created a forum, we, were, we could hear people, where, where should we send our payments? We don't rush to take your payments. We leave you guys to live for two weeks. If you feel like you love this community, stay. If you don't feel, if you don't like it, say, okay, I want to back up. So because we trust what we are doing, we, we, we don't, we, we don't, we don't, we don't like your money. It's not just the money one. We want to give you the knowledge. If you like the knowledge, give us our money. That's how we do. So um, I will not talk much, but I know we always see in class from time to time, our numbers are on all the forums. Call us anytime. Maybe you have an assignment, you have a homework, your teacher is not available. Call us, anybody. Hey, Norris, have this. We'll always come in to help. This is a community. It's not 
uh, Beatrice's class is not Beatrice's class, not Romeo's class. It is our responsibility to make sure that you guys work with us tomorrow. Because trust me, we have students. So yesterday that we when we have problems at work, we call them. Say, hey man, I have this problem at work. I cannot do this. They will be there to help us because they are resolved already. They have heard somebody resolve that problem. So everybody is the same in this community. So guys, again, thank you guys for coming out today to actually listen to us and. I'm so happy that you guys have decided to take this part. Thank you, Dr. Davis. Thank you, uh, Norris. Thank you, despite uh, uh, these conditions, you are still able to tune in uh, today. So we're really happy about that. And thank you so much, you and Jay Manuel, for coordinating all that interview and bringing all that result that we see every week that we announce here. All right. So, guys, uh, I have a lot of, I have a lot of trainees that have gotten jobs that would like to uh, share with you their experience here. Um, in view of time, I'm just going to call only two of them today, uh, uh, just so that we don't keep you guys here. I know you guys are bubbling with questions. So um, the first person that we will be calling will be uh, Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth is a database administrator, uh, well-trained from Kiawitech. Elizabeth, we would like to hear very briefly. Don't go, to, uh, within one minute or two, just give us a brief overview of how you are, uh, your life transform by being part of Care with Take Academy, please. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Um, thank you, the Care with team community. Um, I just want to let you guys know that um, you made the right decision to be here. Um, you're here for a reason. Maybe where you currently are, jobs not working, or you're thinking of something, or there is a reason why you're thinking into the IT field. And I do want to thank you for sitting here. I remember being in your position, sitting right where you are for the very first time listening, because um, I didn't really know much about it. And I wanted to get as much information so I can better um, make a decision on which um, part I wanted to go into. And I did the DBN. And, and um, I would say, um, yes, you will experience some challenges, um, like Ms. Foster mentioned you have to have a motivation. You have to have a reason why you want to do this and let that motivate you. I hope you can hear me um, clearly. And um, the team is amazing. The instructors, the community, they are really will help you if you have questions you and but then at the same time you have to help yourself you have to really put in mind that i want to do this and i'm doing this because of this i'm doing this because i want to provide for my family i'm doing this because i want a better life myself I and mean, you have to have a good solid reason that will motivate you to continue because it will get tough I won't lie to you. There will be a time where you are stuck, your server is not connecting, this is not connecting, you're out of memory. <laughs> you need to get, don't be discouraged. It's all part of the, um, the process. It's all going to train you for when you get out there in the real life, you'll be able to, okay, I had this problem. This is how I tangled it and you'll be able to bring that to a real job. So um, believe in yourself. Um, I mean, testimony, I went through the whole training and it was amazing. Um, I am happy. I got a job and I'm happy with where I am today. And it all started from sitting here where you are and listening to them and believing yourself and join the community and let them help you. Um, you can grow, you can go from DBA, you can then go into um, the Azure, the, uh, in IT is like one of the top jobs out there now. So you made the best decision to want to be part of it, but it's, it's, it's truly it's amazing. Um, so that's what I would tell you, just um, believe yourself, find a motivation, be inspired, look for a way to continue. Once you make the decision that you want to join, find a way to complete it, but you have to be dedicated. You have to have the mind, I'm going to do this and I'm doing this because I want this from it. That will push you. So continue, It is the team is there to help you. They have a whole, and just the people that they mentioned, they are not the only community. There's so many people, even your team members, they'll put you in group. You have team members that are there to help you. So don't feel like, oh, you know, you don't really know anything about it and you don't know how you're gonna 
completed, there are people to assist you. And then also there's YouTube. Like after the class, there's something you don't understand. Do your own research, find out something. So it, it was great. I had an amazing experience with Kiwi, and I am so honored to be uh, sitting here today and telling others like you um, about how successful this program is. So thank you so much. I won't take much of your time, um, but thank you. I look forward to um, seeing you guys in class. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Doctor, uh, Elizabeth, I have a comment. Oh, I have sorry. a comment. <laughs> yes, so I... always comment whenever I hear Elizabeth speaks. This is one of the trainees that I'm so super, super proud of, right? So I want to really give much detail given that we don't have much time. Elizabeth was seated here some months back. I can say maybe 10 months back, Elizabeth in this same seat where most of you are right now. And this were one of the trainees in class that when I looked at her performance or what she was doing, I was like, I was doubting myself. Like, is she gonna go, is she, is she gonna make it? You know, she had no experience. Like she was one of those trainees, like I was like, hmm, is she gonna go through this? But here she is today. Like this is one of those people that you would think they were going to drop off, but she had a positive mental attitude. She was positive. She believed in herself. And here she is today testifying. So this is just the spirit that we want you guys to incorporate in this training. So thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you. Elizabeth, thank you. With guys, you could do it. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right. Okay. Let me give room for Melda. Just to greet you guys, also a trainee from Kiawitek, uh, being a DBA out there and doing very well. Melda, please. Is she there? All right. Uh, sorry, I was, I was uh, sorry, sorry, I was muted. Okay. Sorry about that. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my name is Emelda Wam. I'm a certified database administrator and Azure too. So I'm so glad that Dr. has given me this opportunity to just say a few words because I know that I always like to identify those who uh, were like me. Uh, I, I remember some uh, years ago, I was sitting like this, doubting in, in our orientation class. Is this a good place for me? And I remember the, uh, Madam Forster uh, who encouraged me to join the IT world. I remember my words telling her that no, I, I won't. IT is not for everybody. So maybe some of you even have the interest. Because I, I, had, I had tried to encourage you and failed. So Yeah, must have been not trying to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, that's just to tell you her uh, adamant and worth as the IT field was concerned because I, I was afraid. I was like, I don't know anything about IT. The only thing I could do with my computer was to do my assignment. And that was really taught in school already in how to do your assignment with your computer. That was it. So, and then them telling me that, oh, you'll be working with computers, you will do this and that, I was scared. But um, I, was in, I was in school. And then I looked at myself, I'm like, I'm taking student loans. How long, how far will I go with this? And then I see Madame Paula's life, I see Milton, I see uh, others. I mean, their lives were changing right before my eyes. I said, no, I need to give this a try. I need to do something about this. Then I stop. I'm that kind of person, when I put my mind to do something, I do it. So I believe in myself. I said, okay, if this person could do it, then I will do it. So I step in, thank God to the good instructors we have here. I call them, even till now, as I'm working, I still get back to them. So I'm telling you guys, if you're here with doubt, if you're here thinking, am I going to make a right decision? Am I at the right place? Please believe in yourself. Just give yourself time. Step in. Then you, these people, this amazing team will see you through. Then I mean, you would, this will change your, the life, your life, the change the life of your family. Like uh, Mr. Rimyo say, every Friday, my God, you look at your account number, your account, a bank account is smiling, and then you are smiling, and then you see you you continue to change your life from down from generation to generation. You know, maybe your family used to call you, you give them like ten dollars. Now the thing has changed. So why don't you take that opportunity, change your life, change your generation, and then tomorrow we we'll all gather together to celebrate. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm muted. 
Thank you, Melda. Thank you so I would much. have loved to say something on Melda. This is this is a good moment it's for very me. Very brief, then. Very yeah, brief. very brief. To those of you who are present here, which I talked to you about Melda, this is the Melda I'm talking to you. That's oh. this fine. Who are refusing, thinking that I was joking? So I told Melda is one of the person I myself when she got the job, I was I I, I was so happy, and I I said. This is a good example of to other people. What I like in life is this. If you are happy because of what you are doing, you will be happier if people are happy because you have changed your life. Yes. This is, is a Melda testifying to those of you present here today who do not believe this is the person. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Melda, for believing in yourself and believing in Keritech. Thank you. Thank, uh, you, thank you so much. Thank Kerry. you, guys. Thank you. Guys. Here we 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 like to bring in a, a two trainees that are not gotten jobs that have just finished the training, and for you to hear from them, how has their experience so far been? They're gradually finishing their training right now and they're about to hit the job market. So let's hear from someone that has only gotten a job on a DBA. Philan, please go ahead. Hello. Yes. Please. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Doc, uh, for giving me the opportunity to talk here. Uh, my name is Wilson, popularly known as Philan. So for those who don't know, you can call me Philan. Uh, I'm a product of Caritech. We are currently rounding up the, with a program. And uh, I just want to let you guys know, if you are here today, you really need to thank God. And after this call, reach out to whosoever gave you this information, because the person did a great job. And uh, when you join the training, I hope you do, in a couple of months, you'll be singing songs of glory because your life is going to change. Your life is going to change. Here at Caritech, they believe in empowerment. It's a community kind of work that they do here. What they, don't, what they will ask you like for pay is not, I mean, to, that will cost you for the training. It's not even a pay. You're, just mot you're motivating them because when you get the job, your first paycheck will be more than what you even paid for the training. So I'm just telling you in the right place. And uh, I really, one thing I love about this orientation is they don't just want to bring you into IT. There are people from different, different backgrounds. They want to change your mindset first, give you that orientation, give you that base, understand what they do, how they do it. So that when you get in, at least you feel that, okay, I'm not in the wrong place. I'm coming in with no IT background and there are people here with that. Uh, without IT background. So I'm actually in the right place. So this is the most important part of it. Getting to know what you are going to get yourself involved is, is very important. And they have good instructors here. I can testify I'm a product of Caritech. Instructors will guide you throughout the training. There are people in class that join with me that they don't know anything about computer. When I say no anything about computer, I don't mean typing, word processing, and all of that. People that do not even know how the keyboard looks like. They don't know where the enter key is in the keyboard. And after the training or during the training, they're already talking SQL, they're already talking IT. So I'm just telling you that you're in the right place, whether you have an IT background or not, it is not required here because they will build you right from the base to where you become a guru. Like one of my motivational speakers always say, if you want to drive a Lamborghini, don't ask advice from taxi drivers because they're just going to give you wrong advice. So you're in the right place, getting the right information from the right people. These are experienced people in the field. Eight plus years of experience, 14 plus years of experience, ready to deliver. And when you go out there, you are going to shine. Like Amelda said, your account will be smiling every, <laughs> every weekend. And when people call you to ask for money, you answer their calls, you will not ignore as you used to. So... Welcome on board, and you are going to enjoy this because they have a structured, their platform is structured. You have materials, everything is structured. You have groups, you join groups, and the instructors are always there. Don't be surprised. I talk to instructors at 2 a.m. in the night. Can you believe that? 2 a.m., they're there 24-7. Those are people that are working. They have families, but they still answer my calls because they want to clear my doubt. So... Be open to learn, come in with a free mindset. Don't believe you are an IT guru or this or that. Come in like you don't know anything. And they're going to take you from the base to where you become an IT guru in less than a few months. And the rest will be history. 
I'm not just with talking about IT, I mean about Kiawi Tech. When you come in, you will believe it yourself because I am a product of IT, I mean Kiawi Tech. And now I can speak SQL Server. I mean with confidence, with confidence, with confidence. So when you come in, you are going to see it by yourself. So it's just, I'm um, just letting you know you're in the right place and welcome. You are going to enjoy this. I'm really happy and I'm always very excited when I see how the community is growing. So many people are coming in. So you are going to enjoy it and you meet me too. I, I, might, be, I might help you at one point in time. So welcome and you enjoy the ride. It's going to be a smooth ride because they have a platform structured for you. It's just a copy and paste. You are not reinventing the wheel. Welcome and um, Philan, nice to meet you all. Thank you, Philan. Thank you, Philan. Uh, you guys will be meeting Philan uh, as days go. Philan is also uh, helping you guys uh, with uh, some of the problems that you're going to be facing. So you're going to be seeing that face uh, a couple of times. Thank you so much. You can go back to your class, please. <laughs> I just brought you here for you to talk. Okay, the last person that's still in the training, I also pulled him out of the class to just come and say a word here. It's Felix. Uh, Felix is currently right now in the class that is ending by 10. Uh, Felix, just brief, please. Hello to everyone. Good afternoon. Can you I, hear me? I, yes. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. I'm, so, I'm sorry. You know I'm in class now. And uh, first of all, my name is Tubo Felix. I am uh, the batch that is, will soon be graduating from uh, this, our God-given uh, community. And uh, I would like, first of all, to begin by thanking and appreciating um, uh, the entire Kiawe Tech staff. Honestly, guys, this whole thing started like a dream. And uh, do not feel frustrated that you've never done computer. You have no idea like what Mr. Phelan just said. That is really the truth about this thing. So this orientation is very important for you to prepare your mind. Keep aside anything. Just come in like someone who is going into a war, not knowing who is going to meet him ahead of him. So please prepare your mind and just stay focused. Give time to your instructors when they're in class. While they're teaching you, just give them time and listen to them. We are so fortunate to have instructors that are willing to talk to us whenever we call them. Like Philian said, at 2 a.m., you can still call any of them. If they are busy while they are at their duty post, some of them will text you. Okay, just give me some minutes. I'll get back to you. And the next thing you see, your instructor is sending you a link, inviting you. Instead of you inviting the instructor, trying to make sure that he guides you and to mold you the right way. And one thing that you also need to take seriously when you begin your, your, your classes, make sure you attend the classes in person. <laughs> Please, make sure you be there in person. And while you're in class, try to turn on your video. It's very important because from your facial expression, the instructor will understand. Maybe you're not understanding. It tells the instructors. And to be honest, they are very smart instructors. At times, for instance, I would say like Mr. Romeo, at times when he's teaching, he would just look at someone and say, it looks like you have a problem. You understand? And effectively, the person had a problem. So always make sure that while you're in class, turn on your videos. Make sure that you follow the class in person before you can use the video later on to catch up. That's something very important you need to know. Because if you miss a class and counting to watch the video, you will still be lost somewhere. I would just like to give you guys this one like an advice. Make sure you do everything, sacrifice. It's just something that you need to dedicate time to it. Sacrifice time, attend your classes in person. And then later on, if you don't understand something, you jot it down, you can interrupt this. You can ask the instructor the question after the class, or you go back and watch your video and you understand it. Another aspect also is collaborating with your, with your groups because later on, once you begin the course, you're going to be having groups. If you have any difficulties, con contact any of your colleagues, your, your mates who has understood the, the topic, and they will help you. If you have any doubt, then you can reach out to the community or to any of the instructors. So to be honest, whoever recommended you to care with tech, IT, that person will always remain a blessing to your life because we had some people who started this course, no knowledge in computer. I, might, I, I will take an example of myself. I, was, I had a job where I was doing good, but then my computer knowledge was just Microsoft, like typing, and that was it, and doing my report on that. So I got into it without anything in mind, thanks to encouragement. If, even though I got in late, because I, at the beginning I was doubting myself, but I can remember a doctor hitting on my head, 
this thing, this thing, this thing. And one year passed, I decided, no, I'll go, I'll get involved. And I got involved. And right now where I am, I can talk SQL. I'm proud to talk about it and talking with confidence. So please, that's the only thing I can tell you guys to believe in yourself. Know that you can make it. If you see our, some of our classmates that we have in class, you will not believe they could make it. So please, that's all what I can tell you guys. I wish you all the best and welcome to the family. Thank you, thank, thank thank you, you. so much, Felix. Um, thank you. Always respecting, um, being on, on your best self in class. You know, This is the best thing that we as trainers we would like to see. You know, Someone who comes to class ready and willing to learn. And like you said, you know, we were, we are always going to be there to give you the best to make sure you succeed. Please, now you can go back to your class. Thank you okay, so much. For coming. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, guys, just two more people and then we're done, right? Only two more people. Now, I just come to give this to a lady that is also very instrumental here at Kia. We take a uh, product of this training, working as a peer of database administrator. Vera, please go ahead. Oh, thank you, Doctor, for giving me this opportunity to share my experiences as well. Hello, everyone, from wherever you are tuned in today. My name is Vera Aka. I joined this training some time ago with uh, little or no knowledge of uh, no knowledge of SQL actually, and the structure of learning is really collaborative, uh, both uh, synchronous and asynchronous. Uh, that you have to actually be there like everyone else has said it. Uh, everything that has been said so far, it's, it's worth it. I am a living example. I'm a Microsoft uh, uh, database administrator at this time. And also I took the Azure class. So I'm a Azure database administrator as well. Guys, the training was so awesome because I did have like all the instructors, you know, at the help at every time that I really needed. Uh, we also were placed in groups, which is uh, the other part of uh, the very uh, good and collaborative learning. It really did went a long way because there are some things that you may not be comfortable saying to your teachers because you just feel like uh, your teacher cannot believe that you know. But in those groups, you're able to talk to your fellow uh, trainees, you know, comfortable to have conversation with them. I was actually in one very amazing group as well. And we did, you know, share a lot of knowledge. So if you're here today, Hey guys, I believe you're making a really uh, good decision. Uh, no matter when, just take all the information that you have gotten here so far really, really, really importantly and keep it very close to your heart. This training has changed my life very, I mean, it's been a deal breaker for me. So I believe that if you also hold on to the information and make good use of each and everything that everyone has said is also going to change your life. So guys, uh, a lot of things may be holding you back from doing this, but if you can find just the one reason to, you know, try to give it a try and believe me, uh, Dr. Owesi and I'll borrow his words that I like, just do it and come back and thank him and us and the community as well later. So uh, you can reach out at any time. Uh, we do have our information as well. We, you can reach out to doctor if you do need help or any directions. We're, we're here and I've joined the community in giving back as well because it was really amazing and I've uh, decided to you know join my effort as well in extending what I've had to other people. So thank you. And it really be great to see this number, this huge number, 10 up. And thank you so much guys for the opportunity. And, you know, we'll keep in touch. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Vera. Also one of the core of people that you'll be seeing uh, as time goes on, always ready to help, reach out whenever you need help. Thank you, Vera. And the last person, guys, I know it's been a long orientation. I didn't think it was going to go this long. But I see all of you still there. It means the information that we're giving out is important. Now, let me just briefly say something before we get our last one to talk. The reason why we're doing this is you don't have to just jump into a program because someone told you it's good and take it. And the reason behind every orientation is to make sure that you, are, you take informed decision. That's why we don't ask for money before you, take the, you join this class. 
All right, that's why we'll give you two weeks to think about it. We want to make sure that you know what you're going into. And until we change that mindset, you hear a lot of people saying, we thought computer was not for everybody. We thought this was, so we need to make sure that you, you've changed your mindset, you're coming in there, you're ready, and then there's no barrier. There's nothing that can stop you. So that's why we take this orientation very, very serious to make sure that everybody that leaves this is about to take a step forward, you know what you're doing, and you're doing the right thing. All right, last person is Michael, please. Uh, can, can you hear me? Yeah, but it's echoing. Yeah, With an echo, echo. so... Michael, it looks like you've muted both lines. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. All right, thank you so much. And uh, thank you, Doctor, for giving me this opportunity. And thank you uh, to all the instructors. Uh, thank you to everyone on this call for taking this time, you know, uh, to come and learn more about Cavite, uh, one of the best community that you could ever, you know, for than it is. And one thing I can tell you here today is that there's one thing I saw those says that when preparation meets with an opportunity, it is called luck. And I want to tell you that if you are here today, whosoever gave you the information, you need to thank that person because that is the best thing that if you are here, take an opportunity. Uh, one of the instructors said that in barely some few weeks, what will happen that you'll be regretting if I had started this program some five years you until you go get that job and come and, you and you celebrate together. So that is to tell you that here, it is not about money, as that rightly said. It is not about, uh, because everybody in this program that you see, everybody, they are working, they are making a lot of money. Bear with me that we have uh, three jobs. So they don't need, they don't need uh, to teach in order to, to make money. It is all about empowerment. And that's what the key value of gravity, empowerment, to empower. So if you are here today, take advantage of this opportunity and then be happy and change the life of your family and the life of your generations to come. Thank you, Kravitek, and thank you to all the great instructors and thank all that have joined today, you know, to learn more about Kravitek and uh, thank you all, you know, for having that burning desire, wanting to make a change to your life and the life of your family and uh, all that. So I really appreciate you and thank you, Doctor, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much, Michael. Guys, this is enough talking. We are, we are done talking now. <laughs> Two hours of talking. I think at least at this particular moment, you must be boiling with questions. Uh, I've seen, thank you so much to Bella, Milton, and all those that are actively participating in the chat and answering some of your questions. And we still know some people want to ask the question uh, verbally. So now we're opening up. And before we start, I just want to up, uh, share my screen quickly for you guys to see uh, this is, uh, let me make sure. All right, so this is what we have. Uh, this is what's going to be on our screen as we uh, share this. Uh, but look at this, look at this kettle very well. Uh, this is what, am I still there? Like my yes, but you are, I think the screen is not, you have just started sharing. Okay, uh, it's, it just says here, quit. Oh, the whole time I'm talking, but I'm muted, sorry. I'm asking if you guys can see my screen. Okay, all right, okay, perfect. Yes, Doc, we can see your screen. All right, okay. So, uh, guys, I want to really ask you to please make our life easy by reading what we're going to be posting in the forum, right? It's so difficult to answer the same question one million times just because people don't want to read, All right? So. Uh, you were in a very big forum with so many questions, but after this class, we are going to send out WhatsApp forums based on this option. Please only click 
on the link and only join the class that you need to take. Don't join all of them. You cannot be in three classes at the same time. You can only be in one. Right? So you choose this and join. We're also going to send a link for Azure, Oracle, and AWS. Only click the link to the class that you want to take. And I can already tell you it's very difficult to take SQL Server, Azure, because some people just want to take all classes at the same time. Every single one of these classes here is very intensive. You will not be able to take it. Right? So uh, I'll just plead on your indulgence to be very, very careful the way you choose the classes and make our lives easy so we don't have to go back and forth discussion on, on this as we move forward. All right? That's all I wanted to say. So I'm going to open up room right now for questions. The ones that we're not able to, we did, we did not address, you can ask yes. it now. I have a question, please. Yes, please. Go ahead. Yes, uh, I heard uh, George was talking about SQL Server, uh, excuse me, about uh, Oracle training. Uh, is that in, in, in line uh, with Kelly Tech or is that another different entity? All right. So uh, Oracle training is in line with our training. Uh, we, uh, this is our partner training institution that we train together. Uh, we want to make sure we expose everybody here to other relational database management systems and not just SQL Server. That's why we bring in other trainings like that. Uh, so, uh, so everything that they, they do is in line with uh, the, the, our methods of training here at Kiawitech and the same concept that we have there. No, 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 All right. Question, please. Question. Yes, I see Floor Rich iPad. You always need to join with a name so I don't call you an iPad. Yes, Floor. Floor Rich. Hello. Yes, your hand is up. Please go ahead. Okay. A uh, quick question. What are the chances of getting a job after this training? Because there are a lot of um, IT training out there. So, what mm -hmm. are the Yes. So, like every training uh, institution, we do not guarantee you a job, but we do guarantee you that we're going to do everything possible for you to get a job. And remember, we can only give you 50% of what you need to get a job. If we give you that 50 right. and you don't give your own 50, you're not going to get a job. That was very clear. And there is no training institution here that can guarantee you a job. Why? Because after this training, some people say, I don't want to relocate. No, I only want to work here in Houston. Or some will say, no, I don't want to drive 10 minutes to work. Or I only want to work remote. I don't want to do this kind of job. I don't know. All those kind of restrictions that you put yourself just makes it impossible for any training school to ever have a 100% success rate. So what we say is our success story speaks for itself. We know we've tested this concept and we know that it works and we have everything that it needs for you to get a job, provided you follow our instructions and you do and you give me your best. Questions, please. Questions. Did we address all your questions? We're all answered in the forum. No one asked any more questions. I noticed that. I noticed that all of you guys are in the USA. What about people from Africa? How does that work? Because all the people here got jobs are all in the USA. Please enlighten us. <laughs> Some people are lifting their hands up. Please, can you indicate in the chat so that it will be easier for us to see? Yeah, in the chat option, you have the hand, you can lift your hand up. But anyway, let's address this question Sorry. first that has been posted in the forum. Yeah, Milton, you want to throw more okay. light on this? Yeah, okay. So, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, who was asking the question? Uh, anyway, uh, I don't yes, think it really uh, matters. Chinedu, thank Chinedu. you for your question. Uh, we, as you must have noticed, we have uh, students from Africa um, and um, we have students in Germany. Today we had a question from someone in the UK, we have in Canada. And um, honestly speaking, we, it's hard for us to make a determination as can we take of what is happening in a particular economy, maybe let's say Nigeria. But the point is, if there are SQL Server jobs in Nigeria, Believe me, 100%, the training you're going to get here keeps you at the same equal level like someone who is in the U.S., okay? Um, there are certain things that I, I, I will honestly reserve them to say here, but that is uh, uh, some some of the things that... Listen, you're muted. 
Somebody muted me. Okay, that is. Those are some of the things that Kawi Tech is thinking about, especially to those of our to those our folks who are in Africa, in Cameroon, in Nigeria, and other places. We think that there are other countries out there that we can make some establishments there, make create relationships, so that we can have our our trainees go there beginning as interns, even as internship, like in Rwanda, like in Ghana, like in Nigeria. So we don't want to let i don't want to let the cat out of the bag we we are not yet there but believe trust me we are making contacts as to that effect but as for those in europe i know one of my uh, the main it was not my mentee actually uh, yannick who got a job I, I i can call his name because he is a brother in germany and he trained with us and he has, he has never been to the us and he got he had to get his interview in german I, I don't know how he did it. He took, he trained in English and took an interview in German and got a job. So I, again, like the doctor said, we will give you our, our own quarter. We want you to hold us responsible for what we want to offer you. But please, we are also going to hold you responsible. Even your own conscience will hold you accountable to how much did you put in in terms of the work. That's all you need to do. Wherever, whichever part of the world you are, you need to put in your own part and the rest will fall in place. Uh, thank, thank you, you. Doc. Mm -hmm. Th thank you, Milton. And John speaking here is in Canada, actually. I, no, yes. I, just, want to add, I just want to add something in regards to um, what Milton said. Um, uh, was that again, Chinidu? Chinidu, uh, yes. I just want to let you know that it is possible to make it anywhere in the world. I mean, uh, the knowledge you're going to get from Kiabu Tech, you can use it anywhere. I can assure you that because I am, I'm a product of Kiabu Tech, went through the training, and I bet you immediately after the training, I'm based in Canada, just to tell you that the jobs are not only in the USA. And the province I'm actually living right in Canada, in Alberta, there are very few DBA jobs. And I can tell you in the month, you can count two or three, whatever it is. In the big cities, Ontario, Ottawa, you can get a lot of jobs there, but you just have to invest in yourself. Right, go into that training. That's what I did. I looked at the market. I was like, I wasn't discouraged. I said, you know what? If I'm going to be the first DBA guy to get a job in Canada, I'll go for it. I will give him my best. I will sacrifice my time. And that's what I did. Right? Just invest in yourself, empower yourself, build yourself, study. And I bet you, you will sell yourself. When you go into that interview session, they don't care. They don't want to know if you're in Canada or in Africa or in Europe. All the the only thing the employers want to know is, are you able to do the job? Uh -huh. And when you go through that interview session and you talk SQL and you answer the questions the best way you can, they will give you the job. The company I work for right now is based in the United States and I'm in Canada. I'm working from home, right? So, I mean, distance shouldn't be a barrier, right? Make yourself available, invest in yourself, dedicate time, and you'll be surprised. People will call you from from different parts of the world and offer you jobs. And I, I tell you, the moment you get an offer, you get people calling you to date. I mean, right now I had like four offers. People would call me every single day. They want, they want to give me an offer. I'm like, no, I'm already working. So don't relent. Just go, come for the training. We'll give you the knowledge, add your 50, what Dr. just said, and you'll be surprised when you get at the end of the day. Thank hey, you. Th thank you so much, John. And uh, guys, also use the forum to ask your questions and also be reading the forum as um, uh, we are answering the questions in the forum. Uh, some questions will be answered if you also read the forum. Okay, I'm going to give room for Wilfred. Please, when you raise your hand and we answer your question, please lower it so I don't call your name again the second time. Yes, Wilfred. Uh, thank you very much for uh, giving me this opportunity. Um, based on the schedule, I just want to know which of the uh, training platform we teaching on these days is it like Oracle or SQL Server or Azure based on the schedule? Okay, so the schedule that you have there is actually for SQL Server training. Um, for the okay. Oracle, Azure, AWS, once the next thing that will happen after this orientation is that we're going to send our WhatsApp forums. You're going to click that WhatsApp forum and the communication will continue in that forum. Uh, we don't want to uh, spam the entire forum with so many schedules then it will get so many people confused uh, and then it will choose wrong schedule. So that's why we only get, took out one schedule because SQL Server happens to be our largest class 
That's why we have that schedule. But the rest, you will see that in the forum. But just make sure you click the right forum after this. If you are here and you want to join this class and you are, and you are not in any of our upcoming WhatsApp group forum, please put your number here in the chat and someone will add you. Please uh, do so, so that we will have that. That's the only way we can communicate with you for now. We're bringing other platforms of communications, like we'll be, bring, we'll be introducing Slack uh, for communication. That's for professional level of communication uh, once you onboard. Like we say, you don't need to make any payment right now. Your first payment at Kiawitech is due September 25th. So you have about two and a half weeks to play around. If you see that it's not for you, you can walk away and we don't hold you accountable for anything. We will be here for eight months, so two and a half weeks is nothing. All right. Thank okay. you, Doc. And uh, I want to ask, I want to answer the next question, if you don't mind, which is on the chat. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this question is from Osho who or Lua Tosin who said, please, do you need bachelor's degree to get an IT job? The answer, uh, Osho, I wanted to answer this on, 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 on the call so that everyone can get this answer perfectly well. The answer to your question is no. A bachelor's degree is not a prerequisite for you to have a job. You, if you care, you have a PhD. Okay, if you really care, you can have a PhD. And, and you don't put in the work, you don't prove that you have worked on this thing, no one will give you the job. You understand me? However, however, and another person follow up below to ask whether if you have an associate degree, can you get a job? I am speaking, now I can talk about myself. I did my associate degree in cybersecurity and I can tell you I have a, I have a SQL Server database administrator with the state. I work for the state as a DBA, okay? I don't have a bachelor's degree and I'm seated right in front of you. Um, and again, however, doctor, if you don't mind, and this is not to take you away from a class, but it's to tell you that as a community, we do share information that is helpful. And we didn't share this in the last batch earlier now, but we wanna share it now yeah. so that for those that wanna plan ahead, right? And I will explain is that you can go to this school that I'm gonna share my screen doc, if that is okay. Right. You can go to this school, they call it University of the People. It's a 100% tuition free, tuition free, 100%. And it is legit, 100% legit. And then you can even reach out for an associate degree if you don't wanna start with a bachelor. The, the advantage of doing this is that by the time you are applying, you can put in your resume that pursuing an associate degree in computer science or pursuing. I'm just saying, in case you are worried about that aspect, right? You, you can you can use this university of the people as a backbone because, and guys, when you get into this, you will realize that it is about the information we provide to you. It's about the game. We know the game plan. We know the strategy and we are giving it to you free of charge. Okay, you can do use this University of the People, or if you have a few dollars to spend, you can use this Western Governors University, which has only online degrees and is far more cheaper than any university you can ever imagine in the United States of America. 100% online, you can just register there, which can be verified. If you have a job and they need to verify if you are pursuing, which is what companies want. They want to see someone who likes to grow. You don't necessarily need to have the bachelor's degree, okay? Once you put it on your resume that I'm pursuing a bachelor's degree in information technology management and they can verify from this school, you are good to go. But other than that, your answer to your question is no, you do not need a bachelor's degree. And I can tell you, Emelda is my sister and I'm one of the person that I did talk to her about IT and I could not convince her. Thank God, Madam Foster, who is a, our mother here, convinced her. Emelda does not have a bachelor's degree and I can call her name in public because she is my sister. We always want others to say their own story, tell you, them what they have been through, what their level is and how they have gone through and they are working. And I can tell you Emelda is making more money than I do. I can say that to you in good authority. So you care you have PhD. If you care you have whatever, it is not necessary. 
you have to put in the work while we at Kawi Tech give you our own quarter. I hope that answer that question. Thank you. Thank you, Milton. Thank you so much. Uh, next one hand here is uh, Jeff, uh, Jeffrey. Guys, uh, please, uh, I, I see a lot of numbers on the chat. Please pay attention to the chat uh, because once we close this Zoom link, this chat will go away, please. Yeah, I guess Bella is paying attention. Is Bella there? Okay, uh, I'll take a look, Doc. I'm there, I'm yeah. adding them. Okay, okay thank, thank you. Sir. Thank you, Bella, thank you, appreciate it. Yes, Geoffrey, go ahead, ask your question. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, thanks a lot for the opportunity to um, join the community. I really asked the first question on the chat section before about someone residing outside the um, uh, United uh, King, uh, States, because um, okay. I'm in the UK, and um, okay. Milton, I think, has done, um, he's answered a little bit of that. And uh, I'm just following up on that a little bit about the, do we have any exam from Microsoft um, apart from the the homeworks and the one we can get from the care we take, do we have any? Um, are we having any exam from uh, Microsoft, uh, like an official exam? And um, the second question is, in terms of uh, referencing after after um, after the training, after the program, do you do you offer any reference uh, during job um, job search mm -hmm. and um, Okay. Any... Yeah. So, okay. Maybe a doc, maybe doctor has talked a little bit throughout that. I would like to attempt to two of your questions. So the very first one, thank you, Geoffrey. I already attempted. And it's good to have you from the UK, right? So you're going to be ambassador for Kerry Tech while you're over there, right? So you are in the right place. Now, first question is that, like I did answer to you, um, the, your first question is whether or not uh, you can um, get a job in the UK. Is that, That's your first question, right? Yeah, that's right. Yes, and I did answer and I said yes, 100% yes. And I will tell you one of the things in Caritech we deal with all what we do is honesty. We just provide honest information. We do not sugarcoat things. We do not try to convince you to do what you cannot do. That's why when somebody asks, doctor, can you guarantee me a job? And doctor say, no, I cannot guarantee you a job. We are not going to guarantee you that. You're going to guarantee yourself a job. But what we can guarantee is that we're going to give you our own quarter, right? One, personally, and I don't know about doctor, I don't know about how the job market looks like in the UK, right? But I can tell you that there are SQL jobs in the UK because one yeah. of the, the, the guy, SQL guys that I follow, Brent Orza, I think he resides in Northern UK. Ireland. Mm -hmm. In Ireland, okay? He's, he, sometimes he's referred to as father of SQL, Brent Orza. I personally follow him. I, if I show him my email here, he sends me newsletters every week. Mm -hmm. So I have to put in the work to read all those newsletters if I have to keep up to date. You understand? So I know there are SQL jobs in UK without even Googling, without even asking. The only difference is I do not know how to write. Uh, I mentor students here. I do not know how to, if I am mentoring you, I will not know how to structure your resume that it's in the context of UK, if at all there is a difference. That's the only thing. You understand what I'm saying? But if you know how to structure your resume like that, the, inf the, the, the knowledge you acquire from us in Kerry Tech can put you on the job in the UK. If we have put people in the job in Canada, John is sitting here as an example. If we've put Yannick in Germany, then U UK is not an issue. Yeah. Right. Okay, then when, when it comes, okay, sorry. When it comes to references, I don't know. Uh, I, I didn't understand that question. Do you mean if we can give you a reference or not? Well, let me let me chip let me chip to, on that reference point, Milton. Uh, okay. When it comes to references, guys, that's why we know you. When you get a job, the, uh, the the employer wants to find out from somebody that knows you if that person can recommend you for this job. And of course, we know you. You've been with us for eight months, so we can tell whether you are good for the job or not. And that's why we are here as a community and every single one of you will have a mentor that go through this training. You will only get one if you finish your training because we will not give you references if you come here and spend one month and you left because we don't know whether you are really qualified to do the job or not. So, but, but if you do this training completely and you finish it and we know what you know, there's no problem with references as far as that is concerned. Yeah, Emmanuel, why don't you chip on something? Yeah, thank you, Doctor. I wanted to to chip in something when it comes to the part where he asked uh, how gonna, uh, the resume structure, right? And if they're gonna 
if you can provide them a mentor. Yeah, uh, actually I've gotten interviews from companies in UK. So I think the structure of your resume is not gonna be very much different from the structures of the resumes that we have here in the US. But one thing that I want to uh, assure you is that if it gets to that point where you are about to start applying for jobs, we can always get a resume from you, even from the internet. The internet Google is always our best friend. So we can get a very good uh, resume from you, for you, and we can tweak it because you cannot just go to the internet and get a resume, but we can get a sample resume from Google and we're going to see how we can get it in a way that is going to fit you personally that you can actually apply to your job. Thank you, Mark. So, Thank you so much. Uh, let me ask, we're still talking about job market applying. I have a question here. Can someone from Cameroon or Africa get a job or this is only uh, in the US? No, this is not only in the US. I think we've talked about this over and over. Uh, the one thing is um, that our training, when we started this, we used to train people at US time zone. And people used to wake up at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Uh, people like Zach will tell you that they took this training for eight months and they would wake up every single day at 2 a.m. to attend a class. But we come to realize that it's not uh, effective and we change the time zone. Now you take your own classes at 8 p.m., which is a reasonable time. And most of the time, even for those in Africa that have a lot of internet issues, we have realized that 8 p.m. is really the best time when there's less traffic on, on the net to attend these classes. And one thing that we do, and we're doing it with the batch that are going right now, is that we're trying to make sure that you understand that you don't only go to school because someone needs to hire you, right? That mindset, changing that mindset where you are learning this because you feel like, I want to become an employer tomorrow. If, I'm, if I come into class knowing that I want to become an employer, I want to do something for myself, not wait for someone to hire me. Their level of concentration in class is just going to be completely different because you are constantly asking, but this is what I do. I'm always asking myself like, if I am standing there being the only person who knows this thing, how can I solve it? And when you come with that mindset, you're curious in class and you're constantly going to learn. So we are bringing that in most of our African trainees to try to look for jobs like consultants. There are so many websites that you can create account that work as a consultant. For example, Fiverr, Freelancer, LinkedIn, uh, uh, Upwork. All these are areas where people go there, they post their skill set, what they can do, and someone can hire them to do a job. I have an instructor here that I've hired to teach here at Caltech that uh, I just I just never known them. I just went online and look at their, their profile and see they meet what we want and I hire. This is one thing that I want you guys to look for. And also, we are, uh, everything is going digital, digitalization and cloud computing, which just means that you don't have to be physically separated to, uh, sorry, you don't have to be physically present to do the job. You can get a job anywhere and work remotely. And our goal, like Milton is actually saying, is to transform this IT back into Africa, just like the other Asian countries are doing, where they're able to shift jobs back into our country. That's our long-term goal. And we hope that with this commitment we're having, we want to reach there. Thank you so much. All right, let's move on. Yes. Uh, there was Vincent. Vincent, there was Vincent. Uh, yes, Dio, hold on. Dio, I, I have to give room for uh, uh, Venadel. His hand has been up for a while now. Okay. And also Leslie, before you, Dio. Yes, Venadel, go ahead. Your line is muted, Benadel. You have to unmute yourself. No, you have to unmute yourself, sir. There is that mic. There you go. Good. Yes. Sorry about sorry about that, guys. Again, it's a pleasure meeting uh, a credible team like this one. At least even from from first sight, just hearing shows that I'm somewhere. I want to take that credit. Uh, I want to give that credit anyway. I'm sorry. And then um, I have two questions. My very first question is the time, the time schedule. Is it possible for one to have to move from or to navigate from one time schedule to the other? Say, for instance, if I choose a schedule and I feel like 
uh, I missed two of the classes. Can I catch up with the, the next schedule? That is not my schedule. Is it possible to navigate that uh, that way? And then the second question is, I am, it is true that the world is evolving and there's more of remote learning than even in class, but I'm the, I'm the in class kind of a learner. So how do I cope with this? How can I be, how can I, how can I be, be drilled into learning and understanding remotely, which is not, which has never been me. Okay. That's, that's my number one worry. All right. Thank you so much, Benadel. And the first question uh, is about the schedule. Um, once we finish here, you have to choose a class, and that's the class that we know that you attain when we're going to place you in groups to work with other people. Now, should it happen that you miss a, a class and the other class is happening at a time favorable, not, not conflicting with your class, you can attend it as a guest, right? You are, can attend the class as a guest, uh, but just making sure that you are not either pulling people ahead or pulling people back, right? For that reason. So that's the only condition that you can attend a class which is not officially your own class. Apart from that, you can attend all the classes that you will take, but as a guest, except the class that you are assigned to. And then the second worry is uh, about virtual learning. Now, coronavirus has proven a lot of things. Um, even right now, uh, 50% of IT industries now embrace uh, remote work, which is something that was not there before. Because a lot has been realized that, computers realized that people are even more effective when they work remotely than when they even come to the office. And of course, they save money, they don't have to buy coffee, they don't have to rent a building for you, internet, all those things now is back to you. And because you are in your comfort of your home, you're more relaxed, you focus, and you, you work more. So that's the same concept that you need to put in yourself. You've never done this. This is going to be your first time, and that's what will give you two weeks to try. You know, I can tell you the experience is the same. Now, let me ask you one thing. Since you've been sitting here, it's been three hours right now. We didn't even give you guys a break. Sorry, guys. Um, what is the difference between you sitting there and sitting in a classroom where you can touch me? The only difference is you, can, you cannot touch me. Because there's no difference. And it's even better because if we have a classroom here and you have a problem, you're going to raise your hand. I'm going to walk up to your desk and, and look at your screen and solve your problem. But the person sitting at the back of the class will not see what I'm doing on your computer. Probably that person is also experiencing the same problem that you have. Meaning that what? I have to go around from table to table to table to solve the problem. But in class, once you have a problem, you can see Milton sharing his screen. I've shared my screen. Other people have been sharing their screen. You share your screen, and I can take over control of your screen and do it for my side. So it's the same feeling. It's even better because you don't have to drive anywhere. You, can, you don't have to say, I'm not going on vacation because I have a class. You, you need just internet, a laptop, and a quiet environment. And if you still doubt, Give it a try for two weeks, and if after two weeks you really feel that like this is not something for me, then we're sorry. We'll, we'll say it was nice meeting you. Uh, hopefully, we'll meet one day. All right. Okay, let me give room for Gam Leslie right now. Is, that a, is your question answered? Yeah? Okay, perfect. Yes, Gam Leslie, please. Go ahead. Yes, die after Gam Leslie, die. Yes. Okay, let's not ask. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry about uh, that. Good evening to everyone. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, I'm so uh, glad to be part of this great team. Um, uh, my question is uh, after having taken this course, is there a possibility? Are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, yes, is we hear you. Is there a possibility for someone? to take uh, these universally known uh, certification exams like the Microsoft, Azure Data Fundamentals, Oracle Database SQL certification, and uh, maybe the Oracle certif Certified Professional, MySQL. Are there, are there, does the institution or does the community offer uh, trainees the opportunity to take these certifications? 
Yes, uh, thank you, Leslie. I'll take that one dog so that dog can catch his bread and he can come in. The answer to your question is yes. And again, we like to speak with example. I'm seated here. I did my MCSA back in January upon after I completed this course in Kawitech. And uh, Kawitech also have uh, certification material. Once you are ripe for it, we're going to provide you with that material. And then depending on what certification you want to take, there are Azure certification path, which we will we'll, we'll share, you know, each of these so it has a path that you may want to follow, maybe AZ-103, I guess, then AZ-203 and all of that in that order. I, I'm, there are so many of them I can't remember all. And even MCSA once, if you want to do go that route, I think MCSA is deprecated, but it's still very valid if you get certified for it. But uh, in the nutshell, I the answer to your question is yes. Once you finish at Kiawe Tech, you are you are qualified to take any SQL Server certification or Oracle. If you do, if you take Oracle. I am OCP certified, Oracle certified professional. If you do uh, uh, to do take our our Oracle class, uh, upon completion, George is gonna help you, you know, provide you material that you can prepare and sit for your certification, right? Even the OCE. Usually with Oracle, you start with OCE, which is the Oracle certified associate, and then from there you go to OCP, right? Or even the AWS. You can do AWS with um. We starting with the AWS practitioner, which is the like the beginner level in AWS. But all and all, you need a certification. But I want to stress one thing, guys. I know people ask these questions. I have a whole bunch of certifications. In as much as we encourage people to get certified, a certification will not also give you a job if you do not put in the work. Right? We have people here that got a job. Elizabeth, I was talking today. She she has not yet certified. But she got a job. No. We have to be to be honest with you. We have to tell you, in as much as we do encourage you, we provide you all the necessary tools and, and material for you to get to first of all study, do practical work, prepare you for interviews, prepare you for exams, provide exam material so that you can get certified. We don't want people to get stuck in the fact that once I get certified, it's a guarantee that I will get a job. No, you also, what will first of all guarantee you a job is how much work you put in, what resilience you put in, what's your commitment you put in. Okay, I hope that answers you, your question. Yes, sure. Thank you very much, okay. it does. Thank you. All right, let's dial, please. Uh, um, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everybody. I don't know uh, the time zone you are presently. Uh, <laughs> first, I I would like to thank um, Dr. Dennis and the uh, other instructor for taking time to introduce themselves today. Uh, it's, they are wonderful people. I am very sure most of you are not doing this for profit because when you look at what you are taking from us and the kind of support you want to give to us, you will know that basically this is not for profit. And for Dr. Dennis, again, I want to say thank you for what you're doing. The man, this is a man made in Cameroon for the entire world. I, I promise, I hope in the future, I will be able to recommend you for a CNN Heroes Award. Oh. Yeah, that we I will be able to do that because I mean, when you look at those people that won the award in the past, what they are doing is what you are doing, and you know what those people are doing is people that doesn't have clothes, they give them clothes. People that doesn't have food, they give them food. But you are giving what is changing generation, so you deserve that. I hope I will be able to do that in the future. Now, come to my question number one. I would like to know the structure of the classes. Uh, what I mean by the structure, I know it's going to be back, it's going to be online, but is there uh, a particular software we need to install on, on our computer? Or is everything is going to be through virtual machine? That's my first question. Then, second question for a big community like this that you are trying to reach out to the world, is there a plan in the future 
for those people that you train in Africa, for you to be able to arrange a kind of, for those that you train and you are convinced that they are good on the job. Is the community, I mean, it's, uh, this is a plan for the future, not now. Is there a plan for the community to start doing something like H1 visa for people that you train and you know they are good on the job so that they can come to mm -hmm. uh, leave Africa and come to United States, Canada to get a job? Those are the two questions I have, thank you. <laughs> good question. Doc, uh, you want to go? Can you take the first? Let me answer the second question. Or any other okay. instructor yeah, let me... here would like to would like to Okay. Uh, any other person? If not, I'll take the first question then. All right. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, Dio, your first question is whether or not. Uh, Dio, are you there? Dio, yes. He's here. Yes. yes. Yeah. What's your first question again? Sorry, I got mixed up. My first question is that I want to know. Like I said, I know that it's the, 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 the class is going to be 100% online. So yeah. do we need to have a particular, like, do we need to have a... Oh, okay. Sorry. I got it. I remember the question now. Yeah. Sorry for, for continuing. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me answer that question. Yes. The, the, anything that you, you needed to have, we communicated in the forum. And mostly what you needed to, be, to have is a specific kind of laptop the specifications, which we already said it, a minimum of uh, at least 500, but we recommend one terabyte hard drive. And then uh, we also said your RAM must be 16 gigabyte minimum. Mm. We must have 16 gigabyte, then mm. core i5 or i7, whatever, and then an external monitor for convenience, right? And not only for convenience, to make your learning more practicable. If you, you can, if you have an external monitor, that means I have my laptop, I have another monitor, and if I'm doing practical work, you can be watching what I'm doing on one screen while practicing on the other screen, as simple as that, right? But when it comes to software, you do not need any special software. If your computer already has Windows 10 Professional, not Home Edition, not any other, edition, but Professional, then you are good to go. Any other software that you need, we have not asked you to install because it's going to form part of your practical lessons. For instance, SSMS, you're going to install SSMS, but we are not doing that now because SSMS is going to be uh, uh, used as one of the practical lesson to teach you how to install uh, SSMS or SQL Server itself. It's going to be part of the practical mm -hmm. lesson on how you can install SQL because when you go to work that will be one of your jobs that you'll be doing you someone will put in a requisition and say oh i need to the dba team i need sql server to be installed on so so and so server or on this vm and you are the dba dial and your boss will say dial take care of ticket number 1023 and it is installation of sql you will learn that how to do it from here we are not going to ask you to pre-install it you will learn how to install it in cloud will teach you tell you the different parts of install why you are choosing this why you are not choosing that and how you can change these file file groups or and not file group whatever it is how you partition in short best practice to from microsoft on how to install sql will gradually break it down to you right our our one of our jobs in 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 in, in Caritech is that every day Every student should go home. Meanwhile, he must have gained one thing. Because some of these things, you can go read it, listen to YouTube, read it online. But we want to be able to break it down. That's our job. Hold us accountable for that, right? But you don't need to install anything. Sorry that I went a little bit far, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Milton. And I just want to comment on your point, Dio, when you said you know most of us here are doing these uh, for empowerment because the knowledge that we give you here is more than what we're asking you to pay. And let me just show you one, one thing concerning that. Uh, most training schools that you take, they will give you licenses that are not um, fully 100% uh, corporate world licenses. And in this training, what we need for you is a laptop. Oh, I don't know why. Where did I, where did I share my screen? Who quit me? Look, your screen is hanging up for some weird reason. Yeah. I'm going to share it again. Can you? Yeah, Doc, while, while you are trying to figure that out, let me just add something a little bit to that, if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. 
Yeah, uh, Dio, like uh, Doug was just saying, one of the other things that we do here in Caritech, which uh, I, we didn't also mention, that we give you more, is that what? We, we, we like this class that is going on, B10, towards the end, we'll teach them ticketing system. Most no training school that I've ever attended in the US teach anyone ticketing system. We we'll teach you uh, uh, aspects of service now and Jira, which are tools that you might you might definitely meet on the job market, right? But if you if you don't meet them in the job, what you meet other ticketing system, but the concept that you're gonna grab from there, you can apply it to any other ticketing system in any software. We're gonna bring that to you, and we are not charging you an extra dime for teaching you a ticketing system or ticking or, or either service now or jira right so there's a lot that curry tech is bringing to the table so we're giving you more than what you actually need thank you doc i just wanted to add that particular point I, doc are you there i think doc you're muted oh okay thank you for some reason when i share my screen it freezes i don't know why but yeah. if you guys are able to see my screen here um what we're trying what i was trying to say is that Apart from the laptop that we asked you, there's a lot of sacrifice that this community is doing to make sure that you, you do this training. The reason why this training is highly specialized is that it's not a cheap training. So for example, this is Microsoft website and watch the price, how much you have to pay uh, if you need to license a two core uh, server with SQL Server Enterprise Edition. It's $13,000. For two core, most of your laptops are four core, meaning you have to double this amount, $26,000 to license one, to license that, right? Now, we are giving you this license for free. It's included in your 3000 So you can understand that it's just a token to hold yourself accountable because we know anything you give for someone for free, that person will never take it serious. Uh, we are giving you three of these licenses. 2019, 16, and 17. Each one of them, you, I'm not making up these numbers. You can, if you don't want, you can go and get your own. It's $13,000. And we no. give you even the standard edition, which is cheaper, which is, has limited. Most schools that you go to, this is what they're going to use for your training, the developer edition, because it's free, but it's limited and the kind of things that you can do. So at this point here, we've invested and we make sure that when you leave this training, there is nothing that you're going to find out that is going to come like a surprise to you because we touch every single aspect of the training that you want to. And of course, now going to your second question, Dio, if we are planning for this, this is our long-term goal. This is something we're working, effectively working towards. Being able to pull our people. I am telling you, the African community is fully represented when it comes to the IT field. And also one of the reasons is because our governments have not embraced digitalization. And there's no country in this world that will progress if you don't digitalize stuff. It just does not work. So as things are changing and our governments are in, in implementing these things, we are gradually coming in with a force. I'm telling you, if the African government were just to wake up today and say, beginning January, we're going to go digital. There won't be the market. I mean, they will have the market, but the workforce is not there. Yeah. They will have to import workforce to get to that level. So how can we push this? By first of all, training our people. Because when you train the people and they're in offices, in position of power, they will begin to bring this change that is much needed. But if the government just woke up and say, I want to digitalize things, who's going to do it? No one is there. We did not spend time training people that can do these things. So you can't go that route. So this is where we are leading to. And Africa is a virgin market when it comes to these kind of things. We are so rich in such a way that when you do what we're doing here and you happen to find yourself in an environment where the government embraces digitalization and wants to do a change, you'll be shocked how much, how, what's, how important you will be in the community. And of course, we would love to get to a point where we have help, where even to, we're helping people get H-1B visa like the Indians, the Chinese, and other people to come to this country and work on our job. Oh, why not? Get jobs here and, ship, and export them back to Africa and, and have people get jobs work, working for uh, international companies back in their home countries. That's where we're leading to. Thank you. 
All right. Uh, Adeola, uh, you are, I see your hand up. Let me stop sharing here. Yeah, um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, good morning. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, I don't know if someone have, um, first of all, let me just say, um, let me just comment, um, Dr. Dennis. Um, I appreciate everything you've been doing, and I think I have um, chances to talk to you one-on-one -on -one twice, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I appreciate you, and I'm sure, um, and I believe I will still be talking to more uh, instructors, maybe as time goes on. So thank you for your efforts. Um, thank you for everything you've been doing, you've done in the past. And thank you for what you will be doing in the present. Um, I don't know if someone has asked this question because at, um, at a time my phone went off. Um, um, I don't know if someone has asked that question. I just want to ask um, a question concerning the class schedule, which we have the option one, option two, and option three. So um, right now I'm thinking to stick with the option one. And maybe probably in future, or maybe in two months time, three months time, um, if I will be planning um, to maybe to switch to either option two or option, or option three, is there anything available concerning that? Or we just have to stick in that option we've chosen initially. So thank you, that's my question. All right, thank you so much, uh, Diola. And, uh... Yes, we touched a little bit on that question when you were up, but I'm just going to quickly ask that again. Um, yes, you can start with option one right now, probably because of work-related reasons. And if you happen to fix out, we work, get a, 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 a schedule that will match well with option two, later on the trainer and want to switch, yes, we will. But we will not permit you to be in option one, option two, and option three at the same time as your official classes, because you will be, you will be working in the team and the team will be in one class, and we cannot accept that you go there. But you can attend classes in all the different options that we have as a guest, but having one official class that you belong to. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, guys, uh, in view of time, I know probably you guys still have a lot of questions. It's been three hours right now. People are actually tired. Uh, I would like to stop here, but we still have the forum where you can still ask your questions. Uh, like we, uh, okay, let me at least give a chance for the people that have already raised their hands before I close this. Uh, Joseph, open, open me. Hey, everyone. I just want to say um, it's been very um, educative and informative as well. Um, my question is actually, um, for example, uh, the schedules, none of them kind of worked for me on a weekday as my current uh, shift is afternoons but I'm, I'm able to fully join on Saturday. So is it possible to um, have access to the, uh, to the recordings on, weekday, on weekdays and join the class um, on, on weekend? Is that something that you guys are open to? Thank you. Um, okay. Yeah, so uh, Joseph, thank you for your question. Um, yeah, the, the last part of your question, I'll answer it with a yes. Yeah, all our trainees have access to all the videos, right? Once you join a class and after every class is recorded, it's been uploaded to a Google Drive that we will grant you access to that Google Drive, okay? But I'm afraid we really want, if you have three classes a week and you can only attend one class, Mm, yeah. I don't know. I will be. We will be snatching our teeth in that case, right? Like we really want you to attend class. We don't want you to depend only on the on the videos, right? Um, we we encourage teacher, student, or trainee instructor interaction. We encourage uh, trainee trainee in interaction. Like you have to work with your group members. We really, we as a matter of fact, it's one of our strategies. You must belong to a group and you must participate. You don't. You're not only going to belong to that group. You will participate in that group, right? And then also your participation in Kavi Tech is first class attendance. How much you attend classes? You must attend ninety percent. If you saw during doctor's presentation, he didn't mention that you must attend 95% of 
our lectures, which is what we want, because our intention is to break down this thing and not just for you to sit back and then listen to videos after class. I don't know how you can do on your schedule, but the investment, like Bella always says, uh, Romeo, uh, who is one of the instructors, is my friend, my brother. I call him my twin brother in Caritech at one point, which I'm not saying you should do that. At one point, he had to quit his job when it was really hard to get through this program. I'm asking you to do that, but I'm asking you as a, uh, an individual to think about how your schedule is going to look like. If there's something you can do about it, guys, so that you can do get this invest a one-time investment that can change your life and the life of your family, please do. But for access to videos, yes, you do have it. Thank you. Yes, and just to comment a little bit on that, we also have uh, options to give you official uh, class schedule, uh, official admission into care we take with the schedule, so you can work with your, your work or with your job and get maybe a favorable arrangement to permit you to be able to take the class. If that is something that you need, yes, we do offer that uh, for you, and it's worked a lot for other people that wanted to take this, and it was not possible because of their work. All right, guys, I, th I think that's the last question right now. We're going to stop here. Uh, use the forum. Uh, if you are not in the forum and you really want to join this, uh, put your number here so we can add you. Apart from that, it's been an incredible three hours, 20, uh, two, two, three hours, 12 minutes to be very precise with you guys this afternoon. Um, I see how about 122 people here. It shows that you, you mean business to sit down in the three hours plus uh, class like this without a break. Uh, but I promise you, our classes do have breaks. We don't go for three hours with no break. Uh, at the end of the day, I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy Saturday to come in here and listen to us. We hope that this orientation was absolutely necessary to make sure that you take an informed decision and make sure that you are successful in what you do. If after this, you still have any question, uh, reach out. We will be very much happy to help you answer the question if after this you just want to test, you have at least two and a half weeks to test the training and see whether it meets, it meets your requirement, and then you can sign up. First down payment is due September 25th. Like we say, uh, for those in the US, your fee for Microsoft SQL Server training, nobody asked me any question about fee. I think that you guys already know that. But it's $3,000 for SQL Server training uh, for those of you here in US. And it's, uh, I just put it in, in dollars for simplicity, it's $1,000 for anyone in Africa. But if you are really in Cameroon, it's $500,000. Um, but anyway, in Africa, convert $1,000 and that, that will be your fee. Uh, for Azure training, it's uh, $2,000 for returning trainees from Kiawe Tech. Do you, uh, on a, a collaboration with the Kiawe Foundation, we have to drop the price by $500. So you'll be paying $1,500 for your training. AWS is two five and 2000 for returning trainee. And Oracle is 3000 and two five for returning trainee. All right, that's it today, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful weekend. And the first class, official class, will start on Saturday. So we have now till Saturday this week to work out any arrangement that you have to take the class. The first few classes will be a joint class because it's more theory. But the moment we start going into a practical class, we're going to break you into smaller groups so that it, become, it doesn't become too much. And too many people in class is what we try to avoid. All right. Thank you. And have a great week. Bye-bye. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.